things anyway. Hello, everybody, and welcome to Tuesday night. We are playing Alien RPG Chariot of the Gods. Once again, this time I am behind the driver's seat, though. I was in the player seat last time, so I'm interested to see how this group handles this scenario. So welcome to everybody who jo who is joining us. It should be fun. We're, we're sticking with our scary, spooky, Halloween-themed <laughs> games for the month of October. Woo! With the spooky scarecrow. <laughs> right? Oh, yeah, yeah, the murder crows. I was so sick at the end of that stream, and by the end, I went back and watched it. I was, like, super pale, and I had a pounding <laughs> headache, and I, like, just threw up, Jeez. like, crazy afterwards. And I was like, yeah. Oh, boy. Whoa, Pixel Prowler. Thank yeah. you for that. Why is my alert box hidden behind everything? That's weird. It's hidden behind all of you. Um, subs for Hell Fruitzilla! Uh oh, Fruitzilla's your hand oh, against Oh, man. Fruit what fruit Zilla? specifically, hey. though, is what I wonder. Oh, yeah. Hang what? on, it might be a wild ride here. Like all fruits? Or just some fruits? Or... I gotta fix my alert box, seeing as how Fruitzilla's. There we go. Giant <laughs> lizard that just eats all the fruit. There we go, Vex <sighs> Godblood. Uh, Thank uh, you, Fruit, for that's joining us. Awesome. It's the banana plantation. Yes. Lizard prowess. Chaz can too. Thank you, Fruit, for kicking us off for us. Um, yes, so we're awesome. playing. We're playing Alien tonight. This is going to be good. It's going to be fun. This is a, a little bit of a, a horror scenario. A little bit of a dungeon crawl. A little bit of a nice. what's going on. So I'm going to ask my players that you need to remove your out of game knowledge. Anything that you've learned or know about the movies, forget all that because you're going to have a hell of a lot more fun right. playing through Easy. it, not knowing. <laughs> Luckily, what I haven't seen too much. So. About that's what I'm saying. Franchise. I'm with Evan there. I'm just like, mm, I haven't seen I've it. seen the first one. That's I'm, this is going to inspire me to go and watch all of them. I'm okay, sure. good, good. Because when I play through it as a player, I completely would play through it like a bumbling idiot. Like, what's this? Oh, I'll touch this. Right, I'll yeah, do that, right? You'll have more fun okay. playing through it that right, way. Of course. I have, uh, I have a two wits. <laughs> two wits? <laughs> you got it, dude. <laughs> you got it. <laughs> all right. So let's do. I'm going to hold off on the character introductions because we're going to do that in game. We're going to introduce our characters and what's going on, but we'll do the player introductions. So I'll kick it off with Jen, who is joining us for the first time on a Tuesday night. Jen, who has awesome. played with us on Mutiny or Zero as part of the Grim and Perilous gang. Hello, Jen. Get. Hi. All right. <laughs> Jen, who has a cat in her face. Maybe cat. <laughs> All right. So I'm playing uh, Kaylee Rye. She is a uh, rough. It's not on this one. She's a rough lady. I don't well, remember what it was called. Hold off on your character introduction. Oh, go ahead and introduce yourself. Just anything you. you have going on. Oh. I know you have stuff going on. So go tell the world what you do, Break Jen, down. on the internet. Uh, so on Fridays, we work on Radiator. Behind the scenes, we're doing development and we're doing um, like game sessions. And so patrons are able to look into that and listen into that. And we just got an owl recently, so they'll be seeing us soon. <laughs> not a real owl, it's a camera. Okay, yeah. It's, like oh, it's, cool. it's not like a great oh, yeah. street the horn owl, owl or something. Camera. Either one. An owl Either for the good. stream? Okay. And then I just got done playing Remnant about, I don't know, 40 minutes ago. Uh, we were trying to take down a boss that didn't work out too good. So Tuesdays we're streaming on my channel. It's Pixel Prowler. And uh, yeah. Twitch.tv pixel prowler one word yeah is that a co-op game it is oh yeah three players cool i have a it, ps4 it is a lot of fun Ooh, yeah. i've out. played with them occasionally yeah <laughs> matt went way past us <laughs> That's what I do yes, in games. I looked up all the secrets. Team games, yeah. I looked up all the hidden things, and I was like, oh, we missed this, we missed that. And I went back, got it all. And then I was just like, show up the game. I'm like, my guy's completely decked out. I'm like, hey, guys, look what I found. Yeah, it's, Sweet, it's the way I play games. Uh, there we go. There's the link to Jen's channel. Leland, what do you have going on, my friend? <sighs> well, a bunch of things. Uh, this day, uh, but it was a lot last time but it's like increased a bit even <laughs> um i'll just plug the people i work for because they're cool um i'm grateful they gave me a job um i work for fantasy grounds i work for zombie orpheus entertainment which is a very cool film company slash also another twitch channel with some good actual plays and stuff three a week i think and uh <clears throat> there's schedules on there i'm sure um but 
Um, I also work for a new show called Audio Dungeon that's on like Twitch and YouTube and Facebook, which is, you know, I have pretty good reach on Facebook. So I've been able to help boost their views on that pretty significantly. So hopefully Facebook steps up their game a bit on the whole streaming thing. <laughs> maybe not. Maybe not. I don't know. But anyway, that's pretty cool. Um, and I am, I play on tabletop to keyboard, which is this Thursday is session two. At Slide 9 p.m. 9 p.m. CST. Check that out. That's going to be cool. I get to play a completely useless character, and I'm excited. <laughs> I love it. Uh, one of my favorite yeah. challenge. I love uh, random character generation. So, and that's just what I ended up with. So, I'm just going to go with it. And I'm enjoying it so far. But um, I'm also playing a lot of Zweihander on this channel, obviously, because you know Zweihander channel. But um, uh, what else are we playing? What are we doing on Sundays? Oh, yeah, Zweihander. We're Zweihander. doing some other stuff, right? <laughs> Zweihander. Zweihander. We're doing Zweihander. this? Zweihander. Yeah, yeah. There's some Against the Dark Masks. Against the Dark Master launched today. Go check it out on Kickstarter. We mm. uh, played it on the channel, oh, I don't know, about a year ago when it was a playtesting. And they have also given me access to the very next chapter in the Ooh. adventure to play while the campaign is going on. So we're going to be playing some Against the Dark oh, Master cool. on the channel as well. We're going to pick up where we left off with the uh, same cast and crew of characters. And, we also uh, have a really good Pulp Cthulhu game on hiatus that's going to... Come back like, in De December, probably. December's Well, probably. Uh, I can't remember what we got... Go yeah, November, because this is going to... Uh, Against Dark Master is going to bleed into November. Mm -hmm. but. Well, we're going to pick it back up. I'll hold you to it. Don't oh, worry. Oh, we are. But check out Against <laughs> the Dark Master right now on Kickstarter. Launch today. Already funded. Good people. That's awesome. Good people. It yep. is a um, yeah retro clone of Merp. Uh, Jeff. What do you have going on? Yes. Uh, well, I got the uh, Dark Astral Adventure, which is the sci-fi of Zweihander. Hopefully, that's going to be played here November, I think. Yes. Yes, November is <laughs> the plan. It's been real busy here, oh. uh, which is cool. But yes. yeah, so that, that'll be November. Um, I got a new project started, uh, and yeah. it's not 100% confirmed, but it sounds like... Uh, Adam Rose will be again advising me on it. It's going to be a uh, rune expansion and an adventure for his Y hander. So what? I'm excited to get new? that going. This, this is, is new. brand what? new. What? Yeah, what? this is within the last week. What? So, I don't even know about well, this. No, I've been I've been roughing up some news. stuff, and uh, <laughs> Adam sounds like he's uh, he's on board. So hopefully, Adam's a busy guy. Forward. He's a very busy guy. <laughs> Uh, hey. The last thing, quickly, go ahead. I was going to say, thank you for the host, Epicam. Appreciate it. Yeah, last thing, old news, uh, but still waiting <laughs> on uh, uh, Leather Steel, Blood and Bone to come out. That is uh, a Zweihander uh, booklet on piecemeal armor um, and um, injury tables per weapon, per uh, body part, a bunch of drawbacks. That's still being... Uh, laid out by Ken Duquette, which is, he's beyond busy. So hopefully this month, but that might get pushed back even further, but that's okay. That should be, should be awesome when it, once it gets out. That's right. all for me. I hear it's pretty good. Yeah. <laughs> okay, but it sounds like a good song title for Man of War. What's that? Peacemail Armor? Yes. What? Man of War. Oh, yeah. Man. Hell yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I love Oaks Man of here. War. Oaks here. Oaks there's... played through this. Oak was, Oak was our uh, company, man, last time we played through this. Uh, and last but not least, Evan, what has changed from last week? What do you got going on? Nothing's changed. Still here playing with you guys. And oh, I'll be playing right. on Friday soon. So Will you? When are you going to be available on Fridays? I think two weeks. We didn't play last week, so I think two weeks from most likely. But I'll okay, let you know. Give me a date here offline. Yep. Okay. I'll talk to them. I'll talk to the DM about it and see. Cool. Sweet. Need fruit. I need food to more. Yeah. <laughs> Thanks, fruit. Oh, you're awesome. That's very cool. All right. So we are playing chapter one of Alien Chariot of the Gods, the role playing game. This is the uh, the introductory adventure that comes with the quick start or the quick uh, guide that if you pre ordered the game that's coming out. I think it's in December of this year. Um, you got this adventure with it. and You got a little peek at the rules. Thank you so much, Fruit. Two more uh, subscribers. Thank you so much. Friend to the channel. Um, 
for sure is is a understatement okay uh so let us jump into this well let me start with uh do you guys have any questions because we're gonna learn as we go do you have yeah any questions? i think we should just just yell low just go for it i mean there's no sounds good to me all yeah. right so story so far i'm gonna read this the people at home can see this but i'm gonna read this to you you are space truckers on the star freighter uss css montero running the gauntlet quote unquote the trade route between anchor point station and the frontier your ship's cargo hold is packed with dozens of tanks of the rare gas Hydrogen 5. Usually cargoes such as these are towed in massive tanker modules that transport much higher concentrations of the gas a safe distance from a freight hauler. The Montero isn't rated as a commercial towing vehicle. However, and this small run is a special order for the Wayland yutani corporate account on Sutter's World, a newly established frontier colony. While the trip so far has been fairly routine, the Montero sensors developed a glitch before you left Anchor Point and sporadically pinged contact with a sensor reflection before you activated the displacement drive and went into FTL. Your cargo run so far has been without incident. Now you are just awakening from hypersleep, ready to deliver your goods to the colony of Sutter's World. So you guys are waking up out of cryo. You're getting up, you're feeling lethargic, you're, you're a little dehydrated from being out for the last couple months uh and you're all you're all meeting in the mess hall getting some water getting some food as you all pop out of your hatches this is where i want to do the introduction of who everybody's playing who you are um something that's important here is all the <clears throat> characters all have special talents unique to them that they can use in given situations all the characters also have special secret agendas unique to them that they are not to share with anybody else and they change from act to act so act one all of our characters have some secret agendas that they're aware of um so let's go ahead and do character introductions as you gather around the table who you are your name what your role on the ship is um and just a little bit about you but do not reveal anything about your secret agendas uh we'll start with jennifer who's playing rye uh kayla rye i'm a tactician um are we supposed to share our trait? Yeah, you go ahead and share a trait. That's fine. Uh, so I'm 23. My trait is better. <laughs> For various reasons. Uh, I guess I'm very upset that I don't get paid enough. And I want to send money back home for my brother who's sick. Um, my talent is the long haul. You've seen it and you've done it all. Um, nothing surprises you anymore. Once per act, me ignore all critical failures from a single roll. Ooh. That sounds pretty good. That is nice. pretty damn good. Yeah. All right. So, Rai, you're the roughneck here. You and, uh, well, there's another one of you. But uh, your, your job is to look after the ship. Keep it running. Keep it functioning, right? Oh, yeah. All right. Well, speaking of the other roughneck, I I'm not going to pronounce his name because he's going to pronounce it differently than I am. Leland? I can't. Sorry. Not like Kim or Cam, you know. Whatever. However right. you want to say it. <laughs> All right. Uh, or you should be a champ. What is my... Champ. Oh, tra Lord. Okay. All right. Sorry. Uh, she she just said trait, and I couldn't find it on the uh, the uh, Roll20 version. But anyway. Sure. Uh, I'm playing uh, uh, Lyra and Cam. Uh, cargo handler. Uh Life on the frontier was tough, you know? Uh, so I can uh, push any skill roll based on strength twice, not just once like anyone else. Um, it also increases my stress uh, level by one. Each push does. Um, and that my trait is that I'm, I'm loyal. Uh, and he's just a good old white bread American boy, you know? He's a good old boy. All right. So those are our two roughnecks. Uh, Jeff, you're playing Wilson. Who is Wilson? What's his Wilson, role on the man. on the ship? <laughs> he is the corporate liaison to the Montero. Uh, his trait is ambitious. He's ready to climb the, the company ladder. And uh, he's here to look over uh, the crew and to access uh, their abilities and how they perform. Uh and once they are back, he's going to give that report on uh, at least his impression of the crew. 
um, and his what were we telling talents for <laughs> I, was. I, don't, I don't think I want to tell my talent. So, <laughs> was it your talent? You know, don't you get don't you get like bonuses to like pushing like PCs mm. in the way of danger to get out of danger yeah, yourself? It's called manipulation. He just ratted you out. <laughs> That's okay. Uh, let's see. Uh, if you are attacked or otherwise end up in fatal danger, and if another PC or friendly NPC is within short range, you can make a manipulate roll. If you succeed, the other character suffers the attack or hazard instead of you. <laughs> God. Look at you. You're like, just like Paul Reiser out of the second yeah. movie. And um, no one knows that. So. No one knows that. No, no one knows that. <laughs> <laughs> this one, you're a dirty company, man. Oh, well, dirty everyone company, knows it, but man. no one knows it. You got it. <laughs> uh, and last but not least, we got Evan, who's playing Miller, the, uh, the, the captain of this ship, of the Montero. Yes, I'm playing Vanessa Miller. Um, basically, she is the captain. She's about 46. Her trait is thrifty. And her shtick is she is trying to figure out a way to make the ship either get a little bit more money or find a way because right now she's kind of in a bind with the money and having the liaison here is not helping. But she's trying to figure out a new way to figure out a better place for her crew, basically. And her talent is pull rank. So she basically can try to command uh, basically anybody, as long as they're in the same kind of, anyone affiliated with you, which you're in the same organization as me. So you can command someone to do like an action. So you could say, you know, I could command Cham to, or Cam to, you know, open that door or something if he was right. scared. So could be useful, we'll see. The very good. All right. So the only other thing I wanted to touch on is that there's something called story points. And I believe you guys start with um, three story points and you can get them back at the end of each act. And what story points do are you can spend one to add one six to a roll. So it'll give you like an automatic success. Oh, so you can pull on those. And there's also you can pull on. Uh, you guys all have personal items as well that you can pull on to help get you guys out of. uh out of like a bad place. And that's just the thing listed under our character sheet. Right. right exactly. And there's no real, right. like, like you, I want to use it in this X situation, or that situation. You can just say like, you know, to help me deal or cope with the, uh, with stress. I want to, well, like yours, yours, for example, um, Miller is a jacket patch with the, the Wayland Utani logo. I don't, you can use that in a certain situation. You can use that signature item to help, bring your stress down you tell me how you want to use it in that situation you can actually gotcha bring it down at, at, at certain points um so this is the only other two mechanics i wanted to briefly go over before we we jump into it okay cool all right ready to, to dive on in yeah yeah i am very scared all right so you guys are sitting around the table you're waking up you know you're dehydrated you're stiff you're sore you've been out for a few months but uh you believe that, uh, well, you guys, as far as you know, you've been woken up by Mother uh, because you are near your destination. So, you're happy uh, to be out of here. You're wanting to get paid. But suddenly, Mother starts going off on the ship and starts uh, alerting you. Warning, warning. Warning, warning. Approaching ship. Approaching ship. Warning. So what do we got going on, start Captain? Going off. Can you? Can I talk to Mother? I don't. Yeah, you can communicate like, with Mother. You could. Okay, I just didn't know if it was you like can a... talk to her, but you can also go to like you've watched the first one, right? It's been a long time, but yes. so you remember the the captain went to a room and specifically dealt with Mother in a room, and she communicated uh, with him in there. But Mother will also tell you things and notify you of things as uh, as well. But she'll want to from time to time. Mother likes to discuss things privately with the captain. Right now, this okay. is a general alert to the whole ship that Mother's letting you know that there is a warning that there's an approaching ship. Would she tell me if it was something that she wanted to talk privately? She would. Okay. Well, um, Wilson, I don't believe it's it's a ship. That's what we were, you know, sent to do. So that's a good sign, right? I would say so. Good. I'm glad we're in agreement. <laughs> now let's get our coffee, everyone. Uh, it's been a long cryo, so, you know, let's get refreshed before we check up with Mother. Sounds good to me. And I will ask... Is there... I'll ask Mother if she can, like, 
if there's a way for her to project what we see, like what she sees from outside. Um, you're gonna have to go to the ship's uh, bridge, and you can go there and scan. Okay. Is there like a window? Like, can we just see it? There is a or window. No? So you get up there, and you're looking at the window, and you don't see Sutter's world, which is where you're supposed to be ending your your destination. You're out in the blackness, darkness of space, and there is nothing around. So right away, that tells you that something seems a bit off. Go Great. ahead, and you can make me uh a a com tech roll uh, to check your sensors diagnostics to uh, to find out what is out there, what it's picking up and where. Do we have uh, like communications like throughout the whole ship with everyone? Like Yeah, you can, you, there's intercoms. Okay. Um, Rai, could you please come to the bridge? I uh, need of your services. What do you need now? I'll explain. Just please come. Am I going to get paid extra for this? Of course not. All right, I'm on my way. All right, and then when Rye comes, I'll just say, Rye, do you notice something strange? Uh, yeah, it's it's dark out there, isn't it? Right, we're in space, not near a civilization. Yeah. Could you try to uh, check our sensors? Yeah, I suppose. Let me press some buttons over here. Beep, boop, beep, boop, beep. I'm gonna so, go check yeah. and see if we've gotten any messages from uh, from corporate as to what's going on. Sure, yeah, yeah. I'll I'll just do like a little ping. Your secret Keep an code. eye on Wilson, Kim. All right, so those are successes. Those symbols. Nice. Those are what matter. <laughs> Whoa! Did you roll that many dice? Holy moly! <laughs> I think some are supposed to represent stress better right now. I could be wrong. What's supposed to represent stress? Oh, it's not a different color. Never mind. Just ignore me. I'm really good at rolling lots of die. The, the, uh, that's okay. The ones I believe are programmed as the little face huggers in here on the dice. And those are the sixes. So those are two successes. Yeah, it's just the only two numbers. Can she do matter. a. You can do a context stunt, right? Can do a what? A calm text oh yeah, stunt. you can do it. There you go. Thank you, you Evan. You can do a context one. stunt. So you successfully oh, yeah. bring up the the context, and you see that there is. But well, why don't you go ahead and do a stunt? Do you want to add anything to that roll? Because we have all of those stunts. That's a lot. There's some cool. Yeah, things. let me go back to finding it again. <laughs> Should be on the it's cheat sheet as well. The cheat sheet I shared with you guys yeah. have all the stats uh, on there. It's on the first page in the middle. Oh my. You can give yourself plus one to a roll later. Or, uh, so the way I'll explain to everybody while we're looking at. So the way this game works is um, to be successful on a roll, all you need to do is roll one six on a d6. So she had that whole pool of dice that she rolled and she got two sixes. So for each additional six you roll, you have a list of additional options or stunts as they're called that you get to select from to add on to your success. So right now she's looking at what, what do I want to tack on here? to uh to bolster this success so her options are add plus one to a later related role a related comtech role don't need to overcome again so if she had to roll this again she doesn't need to uh half the usual time so the next role will be done in half the usual time or something related to this new or unexpected information she could gather uh she could hide her tracks or she could do it with a flourish she could show off as she does it Let's do new and unexpected information. Okay. So nice. it pings back and it looks like there's it's it's a sensor malfunction and nothing nothing more. <laughs> Never mind, not nice. <laughs> you uh but you also gather you are nowhere near Sutter's world. Still pretty dark out here. So that's not good. You are um, in deep space. If I if there's no messages that I have, I'm going up on the bridge and uh Hey I can hey. watch over Miller. Hey, I'm supposed to be I'm supposed to be keeping an eye out on you, Wilson. <sighs> you're you're way, hey, way, you better way. Better quick out. step it then. In the All right. And we don't see the ship when we're looking out, right? No, you Let's see go nothing then. but blackness. You're between stars right now. I'm just gonna kinda walk behind him and Okay, well, so I'm making our way through. 
Yeah, so I guess what she tells me is a sensor malfunction. I'll say, uh, Mother, where is the ship that you sense? She just replies back. She's on the screen there in the in the bridge in front of you and just <laughs> goes across the screen. He's like, malfunction, mis misdiagnosis. Great. I think Mother's wrong because my fingers don't lie. Well, I think Mother is saying malfunction. We didn't go where we're supposed to. Oh, well, I guess that makes more sense. Suddenly the screen lights up in front of you again. Well, or Miller, I should say. And it <laughs> words are going across there. And she's requesting to speak to you privately. Oh, all right. Then I will just tell, I'll follow. Uh... <laughs> you don't. Are you, are you there? Is he, he's not in there yet, is he? <laughs> like I was going to the bridge. I'm like, where am I at? Uh, sure. You're you're like you're him walking into the bridge as he's reading this. Secrets don't I make just, friends. I just follow right behind. I so tell the crew everything. Mother's in a big <laughs> giant in a in a room all to herself. It's a big room that contains like the mainframe computer. Think of it. So, and uh, it's typically uh, only captains who have access to it. And this is Miller's ship. I will. I will. If I'm not supposed to go in, I won't. But if it's if I have any possibility, I go in. I think you could wait outside. You know protocol pretty well, right? So, oh. Sorry, Captain. I you know. He's, no, it's fine. No, it's, I understand. I, you know, he has a job to do and everything, but I ain't trying to hurt nobody today. You know, so mother specifically requested me, Wilson. I'll wait on the bridge. Okay, thank you. I'll just <laughs> head in. Sure. So you go in and you go into this big white room, like sanitary, spotless. There's not a single speck of dust in there. All the walls are white, and in the middle of the room is like this screen. You sit down. And you start communicating with mother. And um, she starts informing you that she's picked up a distress call from an unknown ship that you need to investigate. And how far is this mother? She uh, she just says close across the screen. It comes across there. And what about getting to our actual location? She, uh, she outlines that uh, it's company policy to investigate any sort of wreckages along the way and to <sighs> look into this further. And uh, by no. not doing so means forfeiting your shares and you get no money for the run. I, I okay, you... mother, no need for attitude, all right? It's fine, I understand. We will do it. I will talk to the crew right away. She, uh, she informs you that she's picked up a mysterious transmission and she plays it for you. Oh. And it comes across and it's just all static and you can you can make out like kind of meshed up voices and you can't make anything out specifically it's all way too garbled and staticky to make out what is being said in the message mother can you send the transmission to rye and see if she could maybe i don't know fix it um she says no no this is this is for your eyes only miller <sighs> Fine. We will go investigate the ship. Anything else, Mother? No. All right. I'll head back to the crew. Yeah, so what do you want to share with the crew? How much do you want to share with them of what Mother let you know? Yeah, um, I will walk in and I'll just be like, well, good news and bad news. Uh, good news. Lay it uh, on me. Company protocol says that whenever there's a wreck, we must go investigate and take care of the salvaging if there is any. And apparently mother's found a distress signal close. Bad news, as we all can see by looking out the window, we are still in space. So with that being said, mother said it is of utmost importance that we investigate the wreck before we attempt anything else. Well, I think that's the right thing to do anyway, you know, just in case somebody's hurt, you know. True. We got the means, we need to go check on them. That's right. Follow protocol. I will say one thing, though. There was, and I'll, like, try and, like, whisper it, like, everyone come in close so she doesn't hear us. There was <laughs> a, a... Computer. I, was gonna hear I know, us. of I was, course. <laughs> I'm sorry. I just, there was a... Uh, transmission that came in that was very distorted and 
you couldn't hear anything, but something tells me that we should, you know, something bad may have happened, or we should at least be alert. At, you know, that's all. All right. Thanks for the warning. <laughs> I mean, it's. I'm just saying we should be on our toes. We don't know what we're walking into. I mean, that's true. Any I even told Wilson around. that, so see, Wilson, we're on good terms, right? Yeah, I heard what you said. We're good. Uh, do I tell Mother to send us there, or do I tell, like, Rye? Uh, so you figure you can try to tri- triangulate um, the origin of the, or the, the general origin of the communications to try and find the location of where this, this ship is currently floating in space. Um, so you guys can get started on that in the meantime. And try and figure out where you're going. Is that like Comtech again? Yeah, it's going to be another Comtech role. All right. But we don't have a pilot to... around here to figure this stuff out. <laughs> the pilot, the pilot died in cryo. <laughs> I could try oh to fly. I could fly the ship if we need to, but oh I don't know if it's we're that desperate. I think should grab that promising. cat then. Yeah, I ain't promising though to hear. You know, like if we need to, I can uh, pilot. Like, you know. You know, what have I ever led you astray except this moment? That wasn't even my fault. (sighs) Yeah, I suppose you're right. I trust you. So I will, yeah, I'll ask Rai to see if she can triangulate the location. Well, am I going to get paid for being a pilot now? Well, maybe if we find some good salvage, then sure, we all get a good payday. Well, I hope I get a bonus for all You're not piloting. Hey, girl, we get you one of them promotions. That's right, you can be a toughneck. I don't know. What do you want to be? Toughneck? That ain't the next tier up or nothing. What are you talking about? I don't know what the next tier is. I'm sorry. Anyways. It's a damn pay raise. That's what the next tier is. Anyways, can we get on with this? Find the ship and then then either Mother or I can pilot it to the location. I think Mother should be able to handle that. Yeah. So, Rai... You're on there, and you're you've got these coordinates that uh, Miller provided, and you're trying to figure it out. And you're like, "Hey, I don't get paid for this. This is my job." And you're going on there, and you triangulate this and triangulate that. And as you're doing that, you're focused on. It, and you're like, "I got it!" And as you say that, all of a sudden, woo, 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 the light, red lights start going off, and it's like, "Warning! Warning! Imminent! Uh, imminent crash! Imminent crash!" We're going to be combat or collision. Brace for collision. Brace for collision. Mother keeps warning. And out of the darkest space, right like near you, you can see this ship coming right at you for a collision course. It's just floating in space, heading right in your direction. I'm going to try and put on a a seat belt or something and see. Can I can I go to the pilot seat? Yeah, you can go ahead and make me a piling roll to do your best to try and avoid this thing as it's coming at you in the dead of uh, space. So basically, we were like just a ship appeared like and just running. Yeah, because us. you're in the you're in the middle of nowhere. It's dark. It's it's space, right? There's nothing near around you, and all of a sudden, this thing just like comes into your vision and starts going off. Captain Miller pushes Rye aside, gets into the pilot seat, hunkers down, and just pulls the yoke of the ship and just like barely irks out of the way. You come side to side with this big hulking ship, just floating through space you can hear like the careening of metal on metal as you guys just barely scrape <sighs> past and no, you see this big hulky dead ship next just to you another day on the montero it's like holding under the roof like <laughs> damn that was some sort of man- some kind of maneuver wasn't it uh what the hell just happened y'all it was it wasn't me Blame Mother. I, I don't know. It was a ship. It just appeared. I mean, luckily, I get paid the big bucks to pilot. I mean. You don't have to remind us again how much more you make than us. You know? <laughs> Did we take any damage? Uh, Just, um, no. I'm just asking in general to the um, crew here. I have I no idea. Oh, superficial. <laughs> mother? Oh, okay. So mother I don't think that. so. Okay. Um, do we still see the ship? Oh, like it's, now it's that, like next year. Nice fun. Thanks, okay. fun for this for the subscription. And does it like look like a normal ship that we're used to seeing? Is it something we're familiar with? Oh, why don't you go ahead and turn on those floodlights? Do I have to roll for that? Or no, you just you can because <laughs> it's it's black. It's, it's space. There's no there's okay, nothing okay. generating roll light to turn outside. on flashlight. You can, you can turn on the floodlights <laughs> on the side of your ship, and as you're 
you're going by um you do see the name that this is the uh the Cronus. Like Cronos. Cronus. Cronus or Cronos? Cronos. C R O N U S. Crono. Cronus. Cronus. Mother what? comes all of a sudden Cronus. comes to life again across your display screen next to you there, Wilson, and informs you that uh this is the source of the distress call. Wilson or me? Um you, sorry, Miller. Okay. Let's you know, Miller, this this ship is the source of the distress call. She relays that the engines are dead. Inertia has carried the derelict ship. And you, Mother, you couldn't have warned us about the ship that we were looking for was right above us? She doesn't respond. Ah, <laughs> uh, I forgot. Mother doesn't like sarcasm that much. <laughs> <laughs> well, so this anyways. Thing is, uh, this thing's a Wayland uh, SEV M3 Hellades class spacecraft. It is similar to your make and model spacecraft, but it is of the previous generation. Okay. Uh, looks like it's. You scan it. It looks like it's running on minimal power, and all the interior and exterior lights are completely turned off. And uh, you guys scan it for life forms, and the only thing that you pick up is a repeating SOS signal. Mother, is that the same signal that you showed me? Cross your, cross your uh, screens. Yes, and then Mother informs you that. It is your job as company employees to salvage the op operational. Uh, the salvage operation is mandated by company rules. And these are the priorities. And she lists them one after another. One, recover scientific data and samples from the U.S. CSS Cronus. Two, escort the salvaged Cronus to Anchorhead or another Wayland yutani facility. Three, save crew members on the Cronus. She also provides you with floor plans. Ooh, that's what I was gonna ask. For the board, for the ship. Uh that's not what we're looking at right now in World 20. No, that is not the ship you're looking at. So there are handouts that I can share with you. So you guys can see them. I'll first share with you a legend so you can you know what you're looking at on each of these maps. And There are many decks this is huge. available to the ship. So those are your there's your legend, and there are the various levels of the ship that Mother has just sped out to you. So it is your mission to go on there. Salvage this ship. Um, find find samples, any scientific sa samples, number one, escort this ship back, save crew members. Okay. Uh, a mega dungeon. So maybe we need to take the time and uh, look at this and formulate some kind of plan so we all know what's going on here. What do you think, Miller? I agree. We need to find the best entry. And we also well, need to probably go where we assume life may be, right? I mean, that's one of our objectives. Yeah, we're trying to save people above all else here, in my opinion. Well, Literally. according to Mother, third all uh, else, but... Yes, third, uh, yeah. samples He's a robot. are our number one uh, priority. Robots. Samples, save the ship, and see if there's crew members still alive. Is there oxygen on the ship, Mother? Currently, no. Life support is turned off, but if you get um, the oxygen scrubbers up and operational again, mm -hmm. you can get that going. And um, Or if you get m the Mother on that ship operational, it should also help. How do we get Mother over there? Do you need, like... No, the each ship has its own mother. Like it's it's it's, oh, it's a, gotcha. it's a computer mother. that's built into the ship. Got it, got it, got it. They all have their own. So mother. we need so we need to get power back, basically that would be a, first. That'd be good, yeah. Yeah. So currently, there's no atmosphere in there. There's no power. There's no temperature being regulated. Okay. Well, we have suits. You correct? have suits. So speaking of which, I will also share with you the the uh, where is it? Damn, gear available be... to you on your oh. ship the montero's gear here you go there's what you guys currently have available in your ship so you can feel free to take these items and um put these on your character sheets all of the items should also be available in the in roll 20 they're all built in here like the stats for pistols and rifles and everything and tools and motion trackers mother's messed up yeah mother is a bit messed up uh <laughs> So you guys have right. you guys all, each have a compression suit, so you can go out into space. I will. There's a single motion tracker. There's a cutting torch. There's a bolt gun. 
a service pistol, a single grappling gun, an incinerator, and a power loader. What's a power loader? I might... If you've never That's seen the, big... the second one, um, have you seen the second one? <clears throat> it's oh. been so long, that's why I said it'd be real easy for me to not metagame in this. It's um. like a frame suit, but like, think like a... For like an exoskeleton type. Yeah. Oh, I remember. Yeah. I know, the yellow thing. Yes. Does it strip okay. down power armor? Does it also have oxygen cool. in it? The the power, the power loader? loader? No. Yeah. Oh, okay. Y'all mind if I take Logan, this torch? Logan says take the incinerator. Yeah, there, you someone... want the incinerator? I already got one. <laughs> oh, you already have an incinerator? I got a personal one. It says here on my character sheet. <laughs> yeah, yeah, he does. I play that character. Yeah, he starts the incinerator. I I got Bessie in back in my locker. So you want the you want the cutting torch, Cam? Is that what you're talking about? Yeah, man. Or just in case I, I already need got cut, a cutting cut. torch, so you can take that one. We have double torches then. We can tag yeah. team a door, just cut it on up. You know, get it on down. In case Wilson, have you ever shot a gun? Or are you not that kind of man? <laughs> oh, I've been I've been trained to shoot. Okay. Uh, how trained about you, to shoot. Uh, how about you take the pistol? Service pistol? Sounds good. Yes, I'll take the, I guess that's the, the bolt gun. What is that? I is think like you a start rifle? with the pistol, don't you, Miller? I do have a pistol. I was going to take both, just in case. Oh, okay. <laughs> Don't tell everybody. All right, sorry. No one knows I have a pistol, yes, but I do have Wilt. a pistol. <laughs> See, I'll take the bolt gun. Uh, oh, we have a grappling gun. That sounds cool. So, yes, divvy up the inf the uh, stuff. So to board this thing, you guys are going to have to pilot beside the ship, match its speed, and someone's going to have to go through the dead of space, make their way across with an umbilical cord, and... Um, cut their way into one of the access hatches and then attach the umbilical tube for the rest of you guys gotcha. to come over with. So this is going to be a bit of a, a maneuver, a bit of an operation to get over there. Well, Cam, uh, I have a good job for you if you're interested. Hell yeah, what you need, buddy? So once our ships get side by side, we're going to need someone to cut open a hole so we can actually get over to the other ship with a tube. I'm thinking oh. you're our man. Well, why? I mean, Rise got a cut and torch too, but all right. But I mean, Rise, I guess Rise, Rise for the be busy right now. Rise for the computers, you know. I need her. Yeah. For all right. Just can't. You mind if I say a little prayer first? For yeah. You? Not yet. Not yet. I'm just giving you the heads up. You can all pray. Right, well, do what you need to. Yeah, it's fine. That's a personal right. time thing. All right. right. We're you. not in that big of a rush. Um, okay. I'm gonna go over to like a kind of solitary area and have my time with uh, Mother Mary and the Lord for a moment before I <laughs> go on and do this crazy shit. I'm going to hand the motion tracker to Rye. Oh, wow. Thank you. Since we only got one. <coughs> a little paranoid there, Miller? What do you... What? We There's need no one. signs of life over there. What do you need a motion tracker for? It's on our list? Why would I not? <laughs> I'm just digging up what's on the list. Hey, Mother's just asking these questions, all right? Oh, that was Mother, I see. I'm, oh, I'm your mother. <laughs> and then, yeah. And then you don't have a weapon, do you? Right? Oh, I've got a Watasumi bolt gun. Oh. <laughs> Watasumi. Hey, I don't think that's how you say that. You know, it's <laughs> close TV enough. 303 oh, bolt gun. Oh, boy. Let's not get distracted here, guys. I know how easy it can be sometimes. All right, We, we both read redneck uh, instead of roughneck, <laughs> by the way. That's, that's wild. Yes, right on the money. Okay, so we need to move the ship over. Uh, I'm guessing that's me again. So I'm doing piloting. Slight acid <laughs> damage, but low mileage. There you go. That's right, Bob. Right? <laughs> and can Mother try to make the check, or do no. I need to do it? No. Mother's just a computer. What's um, Mother good for anyway? So, Putin. Cham's going to have to suit up, get out into the, out into the dead of space, and uh, Miller, you're going to try and pilot this thing next to it and match speeds and then cham's gonna just kind of launch himself off the ship and towards where he wants to go and then he's gonna have to walk across the the hull of the ship to where he's the airlock that he wants to he has to cut open and he has like a there's like something we can attach him to right like yeah he'll so be he's tethered not... and okay he's also right, gonna be something. bringing this this umbilical like tube or cord with him along and that's what you guys are gonna use then to make your way through uh 
to to the other ship once he the umbilical extension then you guys can make your way through that and then you guys won't have to roll and the ships will be attached okay so with i guess i will try to role play this then Rai, can you tell me how fast that ship is going so i know exactly how Am I the only one around here that does anything? Have you seen Wilson? He literally does nothing. Yeah. He's just on his notebook, just I taking notes are. of everything. And well, he so takes another note notes. on that comment. Somebody <laughs> needs to asshole. figure out where we're going. I don't know. He, he's like a, All he's right, like... let me beep boop again. I mean, <laughs> don't get again. mad at me. Davis didn't wake up from cryo. Hey, Captain, can we get this circus uh, kind of yeah. hauled in here and uh, take care of business? Having this guy around is like, like having having someone come and inspect like, your restaurant, you know? Exactly. We are There's working on it. Counter. Just wait. Patience, Wilson. I know you have none, but just patience. <laughs> you know, I like everybody but you, Wilson. And that, that says a lot, because I like just about everybody anywhere. Anybody I meet. Uh, so I'll get the mic you. for the comedian show, but that'll be later on today. Oh, she got Let's three successes? Oh, so what is that for Comtech, though? What do you want to learn Comtech for? I'm trying to get her to help me. I just didn't know. I didn't want to, like, ask. Oh, you told me a beep It'd be a pil so piloting <laughs> role. <laughs> she beep boop. No, but I'm trying to get her to aid me, like, help me, like, with my role. Yeah, yeah. She'd have to roll piloting. Oh, right. oh sorry. Let me beep boop a different sort thing. She's, like, sitting over your shoulder, <laughs> telling you what to push and this and I that. didn't know how so, the helping worked. Yeah, yeah go I, ahead. I, oh, I think I know what he was going you're for. You're a better pilot than me. Why? 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 I was You're gonna the do master it. of this ship. Is, 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 is Rye piloting? Is that what's going no, on? No, I got it. She's Rye helping kicks me. you aside. She wants the damn promotion. All right, so though. you're gonna give yourself an extra, an extra D6, an extra skill okay. die. So do piloting, then just put one. Yeah. Okay. For your modifier. Oh, oh do you want to? I'm gonna use a story point. Oh, I was gonna say, do you want to push your roll? Oh. Every time oh. you push a roll, you gain one stress. But every time you gain a stress, you get to roll a stress die on every, uh, every every skill roll after that and there's a chance that it because there are successes on on stress dice but there's also panic on stress dice it's way too early for that oh see so adam's use... telling you to push <laughs> a story point. he's not playing because <laughs> well, <Adam, laughs> he always pushes <laughs> he lacks his mutations yeah he does. yeah he does all right i'll use a story point to succeed Wilson's going to leave the uh, bridge. All right. Out. So you're using a story point to give yourself an automatic six, huh? Yes. Okay. Oh, my, my audio is messed up again. Hold on a second here. Technological difficulties. Yeah. There we go. Better. Okay. So you bring the ship side by side of the other and it's close. It's, it's you're about to like touch and hit into it uh but rise like oh hey there captain back up back up what are you doing i should have been doing this myself and you quickly juke to the side and the ship lurches in space and you're side by side with the with the other ship more maneuvers i need Dang a raise it. um can we pick like which deck we enter with with cam can he like specifically so walk towards them the only one that looks like is accessible is the one on the very top of the ship, deck A, okay. Uh, okay. the hatch that's up there. So, I don't want to skip too far. <laughs> Cham, we're going to get you to make me a mobility roll. And that's for spacewalking. Fuck it. All right, here we go. And that's attempting Sorry. to extend the um umbilical extension between the two ships. So you're now... Out in the dead of space, you're floating, and you're gonna you're gonna try and line yourself up and launch yourself through the dead of space towards your target. So go ahead and make me a mobility roll. Okay. Captain right. thought it was a strength check. <laughs> <laughs> Captain's just ordering everybody around. <laughs> Nobody's questioning the captain. All right, so you do you you only have three. Hey! Oh wow, you do it, and I'll. I'll you guys are watching on the, on the screens with bated too. breath. And Cham just lets himself go in perfect trajectory towards the um, towards the uh, the way into the ship. So you land poof, with a thud against it. And you've got the umbilical um, extension with you. 
go ahead and make me a th this I know you're good at. You're made for this. Make me a heavy machinery roll. Oh, see, I knew I was onto something. And that's you that's you're going to be using the 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 cutter. All right. Do you want to use uh that stunt? Oh, yeah. What do you get? Heavy machinery stunt. I'm going to um I'm going to flip upside down and do it. Oh, he's doing it in style. <laughs> Showing off. He's not even looking. He's using the, the laser cutter. Nice. When you get over there, though, before you flip around, you notice something weird about this airlock, <laughs> Cham. It looks like it's been tampered with. It looks like it's been, like, pulled at, like, from the inside, like, inwards. So it's kind of, like, buckled are, in on itself. Are we on the starboard or port side of the... I don't know promise. what starboard and port side are. <laughs> the left side <laughs> or the right, right side <laughs> guy, either. I'm... <laughs> I was port. doing that the other day. Well, like port has four letters, and so does left. So that's okay. how. That, that's still. I had it still lost. Um, <laughs> you're on the. Uh, you're on the left side of this ship. Your okay. your ship's right side. Wilson comes back into the bridge. He has a layout of uh, deck A on his little pad. Seems to be looking at it. And we're on what side? Did you just say? I'm sorry. You are adjacent to the the ship's left side. Okay. <laughs> Port. You're doing good, Cam. You're doing great. Just All right. keep it so, up. Yeah, Hell yeah, I'm doing good. I don't understand why you're upside down. Just so, for fun, man. Spacewalking's great. You All cut right. open the airlock and there's a, pff, a hiss. And uh, you attach the, the umbilical extension. And uh, you can see inside the down into the ship and you see blackness there's a ladder leading down we got a ladder down over here uh it's pretty dark is it dark you it said is blackness. completely dark there's no okay, lights is... on whatsoever you've Not got lights on the helmet of your of your your suit ain't no lights on in here neither so we're gonna have to bring some extra lights maybe uh is the air scrubbers is that the uh oxygen the area? air scrubbers are the air are the oxygen yes okay i'm gonna uh take my um i'm gonna kind of grab uh and you know, poke my head in and go hey hey down there does anybody need help anybody in like a suit or anything need help yeah you call down and there's no answer just dead silence i well, say so when you look look to the front of the ship can you see the uh room that mother is in are you entering the ship is it <laughs> That's the uh, question he's just, here. He's just looking in. He's, yeah, just, he's just looking right in now. down the ladder here. I'm gonna, I'm gonna bring right. you guys over here. So, champ, I'm just peeking my head in. You're right there. That's the uh, junction where you're at. When you're using... the, the goal is to wait for them to come right. here too. So right. you to the can, front. you can climb down if you want. Uh, you can wait on the inter exterior of the ship. You're inside the the umbilical extension now. You can wait for them within the extension. Yeah, I'll do that. Okay. Well, look, this is what I propose, and I like huddle everybody up and show the map. If we turn on the air, then that means we can bring the power loader, right? Because it requires... No, oxygen. you cannot bring the power loader through this thing. Then how in the hell are you supposed to get the power loader over here? <laughs> you you are not able to get the power loader over here. Dang it. We'll find a way. We the can find another huge. one. huge. Okay. All right. Anyways, plan B. We they could tease us. Right. <laughs> So look, if we turn on the air, that gives us free reign here. Uh, do we know where Mother is located? To the front of the ship, right there. Oh, the I see it where deck. it says Mother. Ah, perfect. So maybe Mother first, then air second? If there's any power. Can we can we get power over from our ship? Uh, I'm... No, you cannot. You're going to have to okay. get it going we have here. To power that ship up. Correct. But... And... I agree. We might go to Mother's room first, and maybe maybe we can access power there. Is what like on our ship? Where is is it like a reactor? Or how does power work on our ship? Yeah, it's a reactor. It's a small reactor on your ship. So it wouldn't be where Mother is. It's like somewhere. Correct. Else. It's it's somewhere else. Yeah, it should be on the plans, is it not? I think I saw it somewhere. I believe it's on deck B or deck C. I think it's on. Is it reactor core? Is that it? Yeah, reactor core. So that's on deck B. So we'd have to go down one. And do we know? Do we know if that is off, or we just know that there's no power on? There's no power on currently. Okay. Uh, did, I, I did. Can our did sensors? Relay. 
to you okay. needed you could get that stuff running or mother the mother on the ship could assist you with that right so that's why i was saying if we go to mother first then maybe she can help agreed sounds like a good idea to me all right well let's go through the tube there we go we got our change of music as we go over the ship you we have some lead. people that said do i want to leave no, um, no i was i was gonna ask um rye if she wanted to lead the way or she wants me to you can lead the way. I'll, I'll get out my trusty scanner and make sure nothing comes up. Sounds, Maybe find some people. Sounds good. I got this big old flamethrower here anyway. I don't need anybody in front of me. What are you, Great. What are you I was expecting Let's not blow here. anything up. Yeah. I'm not, I'm not holding anything. I'm just... I don't have any weapons up. Wow. That puts me back with Wilson. I'm so excited. <laughs> Wonderful. All right, we can let's talk head. about your performance as we go through. Yeah, so oh. you guys, as you guys come over, you you all notice from the remnants of the airlock as well. There's that there's damage. It seems like it's been buckled from the inside. So like no, we're, pulled this we're, thing in. I have a question. Yeah. Likelihood of pirates, in the, like space pirates. <laughs> uh, I see. Is that a thing? They are a thing. They would they would, yeah. they would they would they would try to intercept company vehicles for their um. So we'll just shipments. say that's why I've got the. It, I mean, I was trying to justify why I would be bringing my big ass flamethrower, and I just figured, you know, just in case, but maybe I've had a run in with space pirates before, you know. <laughs> no, we're suited up, right? Yeah, we're all we all have our weapons. We all brought weapons, so that's yeah, we're suited one, up. Yeah, personally, no, one thing okay. my character's paranoid of probably is space pirates. I, I was just asking. Space Can we do a check on the the airlock? Like, what what could have caused that? If it seems um, pretty could... strange. Yeah, you can attempt it. Uh, have you guys gone inside at this I point? Think we're making Are our all way. Just kind of hanging around outside. Uh, no, the plan planning. is mother. That's the plan. So yeah, yeah. all right. Headed, so you're, you've all mother. made your way down the down the the ladder. Yeah. Yeah, you can do an observation. But when you guys get down, also you notice that the walls in this junction in this corridor are all covered in scratch marks, like all over. Like big enough for like a human size, like a human uh, hand. Like like large claws have scratched at these walls it looks like what the hell is this is i mean i've had some fat cats but maybe some sort of robot went crazy or something could it be a power loader like a malfunction yeah maybe possibly somebody must not got their license right and proper that's right yes but that's what we do on our ship right and proper right everybody Right. Everybody gains one. Yeah, stress. we're always doing good. We gain a stress. Everybody gets a stress for seeing this. You see that the the airlock has been buckled from the inside, and this whole inside this room, this junction is covered in claw marks, large claw marks. There's nothing That's this creepy. crew should have been encountering that would claw up like a metal room. So everybody gains Blood one stress. <sighs> Okay, well... Say, do we know their... Do we actually know their claws? And I'm talking to the crew. Uh, do we like actually know their gashes. claws or yeah. just... Uh, I mean... Oh, I, I, think, I think almost anything could uh, make that of, kind of marks. I've never yeah, seen a few a different things. You know? Power loader with hands. Isn't that just like clasps? Well, this is this an older ship. This room is way too small sure for a power loader to fit there. in as well. Okay. Look, I propose something. What if... Let's everyone get their weapons out because this is not normal. We can all agree upon that. Even Wilson, and he's... You know, the least skeptical of all of us. You're speaking my language. I'm excited. So I'll pull out my bolt do we, gun. Do we all have flashlights or? Yeah, on your helmets. Your, light your, on your, okay. Yeah, you've got lights that are okay. that are built onto it. All right. All right. There's let's... some kind of giant cat in here. I'm gonna torch this. <laughs> Great. So it's freezing in here. There's no. Uh, there's no air. Um. Yeah. And, uh, and it's pitch black. You can't see whatever your light's not shining on around you. It is blackness. All right, look. Let's head to Mother, everyone. If you're going to go on your own, we are going to be in pairs. And I guess that leaves me with Wilson. So, But I'm just saying, because currently I need Rye for Mother. But if you're going on your own, you have to go with someone, because this is dangerous. I think we should stick together no matter what. <laughs> That's fine. Yeah. You start picking up uh, on your sensors that there's... Um, it looks like there's some power on on the bridge on the deck below. Emergency oh. power is currently on on the bridge. That's a good sign, right? Right, Rye, right? That's... I suppose. 
Should we go Who's there? Who's leading first? the way? I'm not going. I, I'm. I'm okay, not. Okay, I'll kid. lead the way. It's fine. All right. Let's head to Mother. If we can turn Mother on, then we can get electricity everywhere, right? Now you stay behind me, but you tell me where to go. How about that? All right. Let's <laughs> head towards Mother up here. All right. And I just sort of moving forward and like start whistling. As you guys are making your way between the hallways from Junction, here I'll just use Cham to illustrate where you guys are. You guys make your way here, and, you, and it empties up into a hallway. And this big hallway that you're in is also it's pitch black, but as your flashlight scans scans the walls, it's covered in like gnashes or claw marks all over the walls as well. Uh, and you do see some some old dried blood splatter on the walls. This is not normal. Wilson, have you ever experienced anything like this? Not that I recall. I agree, though. This is definitely not normal. Everyone needs to keep an eye out. Yeah, maybe Wilson, you you watch our backs while we, me and Rai go check the check mother. And I think we all stay together would be a wise choice for right now. Well, I just mean look behind us. Understood. <laughs> <laughs> all right, so you you go up to the door there, Davis, or sorry, Miller. Let's get rid of Davis off here, uh, Miller, and check it out, and. Um, it looks like Mother is locked, only open to um, the commanding officer of this ship or to a uh, special key card access. Mm. So what's what's the problem up there? Because I went back. So. Yeah, well, uh, you know, I'm not the captain, so we need to find the key card, unfortunately. I'll push my way up there. All right. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> pull Unless out, pull out my... my key card and see if uh, I can open the door. Or maybe Rai can try and hack it or something and see if she can, like, overwrite it. I don't know. Maybe. I, I'm going to... Yeah, your idea is good, too. As, a, as an access uh, key card, I'll yeah, see if it I'll works. I'll tell I you what, you, you do. So do you want do you want to play that card? Do you want people to be aware that you have this kind of skeleton key? This is kind of... Uh, you do have this. Yeah, no, I'm, yeah, no I'm, good with, I'm good with everyone seeing it. Sure, so all of a sudden Wilson, out of his spacesuit, pulls out this key card... Oh. And uh, inserts it in the door, and all of a sudden the the, ta- the um, pad on the door comes to life. Yeah, and it sh- say, there's, slides open. There's no need to be burning down doors and destroying everything. Oh, does that work on our ship, Wilson? <laughs> he just smiles, puts the card away, takes a step away from the door so someone else can walk through. All right, oddly creepy, and let's move forward. Come on now. But this is good, though, because now we can get into any room. Yeah, I guess so. All right, Rye, let's see if we can get Mother unlocked. So well, inside, shoot, what do you need me for? Why don't you use the guy <laughs> Okay, the maybe key? I can. Oh, yeah, or true. I can just use the key. Or he can. The hey, key hey. is not a magical item. Go in there and see if you can get Mother going. Uh, I gotta do everything. I'll get a magic key. I That's what I feel like. The place. I feel like she's really in need of that promotion, though, because, like, you keep making this crew is more than well paid for. Let's stick to our jobs here, folks. Well, I mean, our ship. Everybody combined. And our ship is kind of beat up. I mean, we could really use an overall. I mean, so far, I just just cut a door down. I mean, and if we come out of this stellar, you will have another ship. All right. See, look, everybody. Good news. This guy's just been writing, writing stuff down, and you just been complaining about stuff. She's done all the work. I mean, I'm, I'm the one who piloted us here, okay? M- Don't you forget some sensors that. and a new pilot. I'm pretty sure that shit, uh, that uh, mother or whatever, salad. probably did most of the work. But anyway, is anyone looking at mother? Is I anyone try, typing I on the keyboard? I will go look at mother. <laughs> I like how Wilson's like focus. <laughs> I got it's you like guys in here. Do your part. Here, like, so mother, t- yeah, mother typically only responds. You know this. This is common yes. knowledge. The highest ranking officer. So that would be you, Miller. Okay. Uh, so yeah, inside is a spotlessly clean room. Uh, there's a blinking data server and a single terminal, uh, which the uh, the highest ranking member of the crew typically has access to. So you approach this terminal, um, and it looks like mother is currently offline. You see like a single dot on the screen that's just blinking. Mother, are you, are you awake? You just see a blinking dot. Over. Would I know what, like, I mean, besides, obviously. It looks like Mother is currently running on backup power, and you think that you have to get the uh, the power I need, going I need in the ship power. again yeah. to get her back up to uh, 
capacity. Gotcha. So yeah, I'll kind of sit there for a little bit, investigate it, and then I'll come back. So she doesn't have enough power. So we need to, which we know the reactor is on the floor below us. Uh, can, can I pull those plans up on my uh, little data pad that I have? Sure. Or maybe all of Okay. Well, you found and do, and just show that so we can, you know, take a look at it. Is all. Well, yeah, that's, so uh, can I'll we sweep this this floor or sleep, sweep this deck first, you know, before well, we head down down there? We can, but I'm just nervous that, I mean, if we have power, we have lights, we can see, we have mother, she can, I don't know, tell that's us what's true. happening, right? That's I true. mean, right. we have no idea what these scratch marks are, there's blood, I mean, something went down here. Right, but yeah. that's not going to get the power on. Why don't we head straight back to the stairwell? That'll take us down to uh, the reactor deck. Right, and the reactor and is the far south. And the bridge deck. Yeah, which and we the know there's power on the bridge. Yes. Which could be useful. Yeah, well, we might have to end up backtracking here, though. I mean, we once we well, get the power going, we got to come back up here to Mother anyway. So Right, so then after Understood. we get the power, we can check all the rooms and see what's happening. Yeah, maybe Mother can help us with some, like, right. security feed or something. Yeah, that's good. Now right, you're just, thinking, yes. I just worry about, you know, what it'd be like trapped on one of these things right now. With no lights, and big old cats clawing up on the walls and stuff. All right, I hate to, you know, ruin your dreams, but we probably need to hurry a little. We only have so much oxygen. Oh, yeah. Right. Well, let's yeah, go. Okay. Stairwell it is. I ain't holding us up by my, running my mouth now. I can run but my legs, like, too. Uh, life support, if you know what I mean. Right. Everyone likes to Eight breathe some. real air, not just the suit air. So let's head to the stairwell, and then we're going to head our way south to the reactor core. All right, so you want to go to the stairwell? Yeah. You guys make your way down the hallways and you get to the stairwell. As you enter the stairwell room and you shine the lights on your helmets, you're greeted by a pretty horrific scene. Lying there slumped on the floor is that of a headless body of a Stop man in a spacesuit. There's blood splatter and brain matter all over the wall behind him. And a shotgun lies next to him. Everybody take one more stress. Is a shotgun heavy machinery? A uh, shotgun is a is a ranged weapon. Okay, never mind. You can grab the shotgun. The shotgun is available to grab. Then there's um there's some shotgun shells there as as well as some they're already preloaded in there. If somebody okay. wants to grab a shotgun. Do I roll heavy machinery when shooting my incinerator, or is that ranged combat? What are you sorry? What was the question? I'm just is heavy machinery just like a craft skill? Yeah, it's it's for. Okay manipulating okay. and using never mind i thought it was like heavy weaponry nope. or something ranged combat uh well zero ranks this is getting more disturbing as we proceed wilson do you have any insight on yeah. anything? no i don't but do you I want think, to... <laughs> uh, we need to stick to the plan and get the power on so mother can uh see what's going on here do you want to do someone a... needs to take the damn shotgun too <laughs> Yeah, I'll get it. Uh, do you want it because you only have a pistol, or do you right, uh, Wilson? Don't you only yeah, have how, a pistol? How 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 was everyone else armed? I'm not even. Yeah, you sure. take it. I can't carry no damn shotgun. No uh, me okay. and uh, Rye have rifles, and then he has an incinerator. Okay. Yeah. No, I'll take the shotgun. Just don't shoot me in the back. Oh with wow! That thing. Remember, it's got man. a. It's got a spread on it, okay? Okay, yes, there is no, there's no company wide, man so. when there's blood, claw marks. Company and, man, the and shotgun, and he's bringing up the rear, huh? Okay, I see how it is. Bravery. Um, Yeah, so when you bend down to pick up that shotgun, you notice, Jam, you're always the one who's picking these things up. They're always sending you to do the dirty work. You know something's not right about this, this body, this corpse that's lying there. The arms seem a little too long and have stretched its compression suit uh, until it's torn out at the forearms. Well, that's just unnatural. Yeah, Why is its just... arm so long? Why is it such a freak? I, well, this I is don't know. Terrifying scene here. Uh, I'm definitely gonna gonna be happy to use this incinerator if, I, if something like this comes at me. <laughs> yeah. Hmm. Now I'm no medical expert, but it's just is it. This isn't right. Let's get the power going. Yes, Let's thank get you. the power going. 
That's right. Our eyes on the prize, everyone. I mean, this is scary, <laughs> but let's focus. Mm -hmm. yeah, if I got, if we need to fix some sort of generator or something, I brought my tools. So. All right. Um, is the body like in our way, or can we move around it, like to go down? You can move. Around. It's lying in this room, so you can just kind of go around it and make your way down the stairwell. All right. I'm just. <sighs> Things are getting stranger and stranger as you make your way down. So you are at junction B, or no, you're at stairwell. Currently. Okay. I'll put Wilson over there to represent where you are on the map. You guys all come through at the stairwell. You're again reminded by your by your sensors that there is backup power currently on the um, the bridge on the same level as this. Seems to be some power happening there, some backup. I don't know. I think we still need to focus on full power nuts and then go from there. Great. Especially right. with two mechanics here. Right. And we have the card so we can access anywhere, theoretically. Um, so <laughs> Yeah. Let's let yeah, let's exit and go. I wanna go left down that hall. Down right. that hall? Down the yeah. the corporate suite area? Yeah, towards that way. And we're just gonna go straight down towards the living area, basically. Okay. Straight down through the living area, through the med lab, the sci lab. You're not stopping anywhere. You're just going right to the reactor core. You're not no, peeking I... your head in any doors or rooms or anything. Oh. oh we're not guys... on power. You guys are on a mission. Yeah. If we oh, have power, any... it makes life way easier for us. If there's <laughs> any samples, we'll see it when there's lag. True. And yeah, this is a big true. ship. We need to, we're going to be here a while. So we need to have power and oxygen so we know we're okay. Yeah, yeah, right. Okay. <laughs> so you guys are making your way through and the area and you so you cut through and you go down the hallway and as you enter this area here, the living area, you notice that the walls and the floors on the north side seem to be covered in these small, round, kind of almost little like egg sacks that are attached to the floor. What the fuck is that? Well, that's about the most damn terrifying thing I've seen besides this other guy getting his head blown off. But Eggs? What is this? Can, um... Let's just... Any of you have a... Like, <laughs> I don't know. Science skill. <laughs> or something. Yeah, does anyone... Oh, I don't see a science I don't know what it would be. Neither do I. Observation? Observation. Observation. You yeah, guys can I do? You guys, I you guys, yeah, you guys yeah. want to get uh, nice and close to that and take a look? Yeah. I don't know what that means. That means no successes. <sighs> but Wilson, so Wilson, you got a success, but you also got a panic. So um, does that take a stress or? Uh, I don't so when you panic, you have to roll a d6. And you roll on the panic chart. So he rolls another d6. So just roll, or... Roll me a d6. Oh, no. So, what you, so the way this works is... You roll a d6, and you add it to your current stress level, and then you check the table. So your current stress level is 2. So you roll 1, plus 2 is 3. Well, right. the lowest that you, that you have to roll on the panic table is... Uh, well, six or less. So anything six or less, keep it together. You manage to keep your nerves in check. Barely. So, you know, you're you're looking at this thing. You're kind of leaning over it. You're sweating a bit. There's sweat dripping yeah. on the inside of your suit up against the uh, the face piece. Uh, and you're kind of like shaking, but you don't let the others really notice it. And you lean over and your, your light's shining down on one of these eggs. And all of a sudden, the top Shotgun of it kind of opens up. It spreads open. And you're looking down in this thing. Uh, you don't see any any movement or signs of anything, but uh, it's definitely organic in nature, and it's yeah. bizarre that it it reacted to you coming close to it and opening opening up. Yeah, say, son of a bitch, we need to get out of this hallway. Wait, this wait. ain't right. All right, let's keep going south and ignore the. How, how many eggs are there? Like five or like fifty? No, there's like fifteen to twenty. 
Well, is this count as one of them samples we... Uh, I was going to say, mo Mother did say you need to bring back some samples. This might be a sample, but maybe we just grab one that's closed, put it in I a still sack. get the power out, not grab anything. I agree. Maybe we'll come yeah. back. We'll Let's come put back. an asterisk. Egg samples in we'll moving this, area. I'll mark this on my pad. I'm going right. to label that however many eggs in the hallway there. Creepy egg sample. Let me, yeah, let me I'm going to be labeling things and making notes as we go through here. Blood right. here, eggs there. But is he leaves it? A science experiment right in the middle of a living area. Right. Is, is that Scientists. Science? That's who. Scientists do that sort of weird stuff all the time. Yeah. But so this is science. telling you. But the science lab is, we're right by it. So maybe something broke well, out or something like a spore. Maybe. Maybe. True. But we need to get the reactor going. Maybe they're little mushrooms. But I can well, eat these. <laughs> let's find out in a little bit. Let's go to the reactor, yeah. fix that. So, and Something well, to remember that there was no signs already. of life. Mother picked up no signs of life when she scanned this ship, right? Your mother? Uh, uh, and you've just encountered something definitely organic. Does her motion tracker? Like, does it... I don't know. Are you using a motion tracker? I've had it out the whole time. Oh, I, think I didn't pooping? know that. Oh, yeah. The moment we went in this ship. Oh, yeah. She said no. Oh, I, I missed that. Sorry. It's all right. <laughs> it's, it's all right? Yeah. It's, it's all right. like Wanna freaking crazy. So your motion bear beep, 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 beep. Motion So it beeps tracker. with the eggs? <laughs> or no? No, it's not beeping with the eggs. Okay. Um There's no motion. Well when it opened <laughs> up, right? I was just curious. Uh every once in a while you pick up a ping or a beep and it, it disappears. Right. But it's nothing and this is the whole time as you're walking through the ship. You'll pick up the odd ping and then there'll be nothing. Well that's auspicious. Is that it, that don't make no sense. It don't. Does is Maybe it moving? My battery's low. Maybe it's moving. It's on the move. It's. It could I be don't... little rats here on the ship or something. If we don't see anything obvious, let's move out. Let's get to this reactor. Okay. Yes. Let's head south. We'll deal with the science samples later. <laughs> I just put them in a bag or whatever. Zip it up. Can't possibly hurt. Yeah, I'm not touching it. We need, a, we need some long-range device that we can grab it from afar, because no, now that we know it moves... Reaction yeah. core. Let's get the power on, folks. Wilson, you just don't have an imagination. <laughs> we're going, we're going. We can walk and talk. Damn. We can walk and talk. Mother's not telling us <laughs> that we're at the reaction core yet. <laughs> okay, oh. so uh, you guys carry on <laughs> towards the reactor core. You guys make it there... It's pretty uneventful. It's dark. It's quiet. Your your nerves are on edge with uh, seeing this now and kind of questioning things. And but Wilson's pushing you on. Wilson, Wilson reminds you that you have a job to do here. <laughs> What's Wilson rolling there? No, no, I didn't roll. Somebody rolled me a, a d6. Here, I'll uh -oh. put Rye here to represent. That was for the stress. His, gotcha. his panic. Flips Rye. Rye, where you guys are. All right. Okay, so you guys get to the reactor room. The only lighting here comes from an open access port on the uh, reactor relay. It glows a dull, pale blue, casting long, deep shadows. Something's torn up the furniture and loose equipment to build a bizarre nest in one of the corners. In the pile of debris uh, near the reactor lies a crumpled up spacesuit its filthy helmet is mostly fogged and tattered. Suit looks like it was set on fire at one point. So that's that's like bunched up in a corner. Uh, looking over the actual reactor itself, it looks like there's some kind of yellow white residue or resin, sorry, covering most of the reactor chamber, and it needs to be removed in order to bring the engines back online. Um. How fireproof are these engines? That's what I was going <laughs> to ask. Yeah. yeah. I mean, I could do a little toot, you know. Just, you know. just toot it up. Toot <laughs> it up. Can, uh, toot. yeah. Oh, a can, flamethrower, man. Damn. Yeah, can you do, like, can we try, yeah, try to do, like, a, yeah, long distance. Maybe if you just melt, right? Right on the edge, you'll just melt. 
whatever this is. Oh, that sounds good. I'll back up a little bit. Uh, I'm sure me and Bessie are familiar, you know. Is this is all the shielding still up on all this stuff, or, or are there wires hanging everywhere? Um, there are some wires hanging about on the actual like core itself. It's it's pretty self contained yeah. and pretty clean. Okay. Okay. Um, this is like the outside of it. Well, yeah. how about this? Let's try something first. Let's try something first. I'm gonna take one of my tools, and I'm gonna like scoop some of this resin off on it, mm -hmm. and then I'm gonna see how flammable it is first, like separately. Sure, you scoop it up, kind of put it on the floor in a corner, and just kind of blast it a little bit. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you'll chip it away. It's kind of caked on. You chip it off, and it comes off with some with some work, and you put it in the corner. And you you blast it briefly with the uh, with your flamethrower, your incinerator, and it uh, it seems to do the job. Um, but while you do that, go does ahead. Does it melt it off, or does it? Um, yeah, it catch, starts to like catch. It, it, it turns to like ash, and will fall. It falls off. Okay. Everybody, go ahead and make me an observation roll while um, while Cham is doing this. Science experience. Doing a little science over here, y'all. See, there, there, there you go. Oh, whoo. You're good, aren't you there, uh, Wilson? Or, I mean, uh, oh, yeah. Miller, you're good with, you're, you're under the Wilson's six under, good. so you don't panic. Do I, so do I still need a roll or no? No, no, no. Okay, yeah, I'm on Oh, actually, two. yeah, yeah, roll me a six. Yeah, you can get actually over six. So, yeah, roll me, roll me a d6 and see if you start to panic. Oh, nice. No, you're good. Woo. Okay, so Rai, you're good. Miller, you're good. John J. Wilson, you have two successes. Yeah. Do you want I'm to spare at... those anyway? Well, one, well I'll I'm looking you... at. Go ahead. I'm sorry. I'll tell you what. So that that clumped up spacesuit in the corner that had like the exposed, tattered, dirty helmet on it. Um, yeah. You swear that you saw some movement over there when, when Cham threw these these samples up in the corner and lit them up. All of a sudden, you could see or hear something shuffle in that that burned-up spacesuit. Now, see, look at that helmet. Yeah. Just to get everyone's attention over there. It's a, another dead body, Wilson. Um, is um, that within, you, like, shotgun what. range? Well, Wilson, with your, with your two successes, I'll give you this. You get a closer look at it, and it, you, you take a like a closer gander and you're shining your light on it while the others have already turned away and the spacesuit is actually it looks like it's something sitting there with its with its limbs folded over its torso and it's like quote unquote helmet is actually its bulbous head and it's lying there in the corner it seems to be shifting with the noise and the what you guys are doing in the corner um go ahead and take another stress all this all of us, or just Wilson? No, no, just Wilson saw this. Um, and he's dealing with what he's seeing. So he's seeing this thing moving and shifting as you guys are making noise. I'm going to say there's something in that helmet. I'm going to shoot my damn shotgun at it. Yeah? Yeah. Yeah, go for it. What the hell are you doing? I, <laughs> you... I don't know if I have this set up right. Uh well, let me see. It's going to be... If I... Do we see him, like, pull out a shotgun and, like, like oh, ready yeah. to shoot or no? I said there's something in that helmet. I pull my shotgun and go for a shot. Oh, yeah. Well, that's what I'm going to ask. Can I pull rank on him and tell him to not shoot? Uh, what? no, he... <laughs> Woo! Okay. He already rolled. He already, yeah, he no, because he got the bonuses and he saw this where you guys didn't. Yeah. Um, go ahead and make me make me a panic roll there, John Jay. So that's just one. It, now there's a panic button. Is sure, that well, it? Or yeah, no? hit the panic button. So let's see what happens. Whoa. It'll ask you for your current story. Ooh, nine. Okay, so we got something that happens it, here. Yeah, it didn't ask me for anything, so I have. It must have just rolled. He rolled a six. I don't know about the so, hell it rolled though. That's a lot. So you Nine. level your shotgun, you fire into this like burned up, bunched up spacesuit that's sitting there, and you realize this is no spacesuit, and you drop your weapon, and you start to. So the, the, what you rolled is drop weapon. So this is whether okay. by stress, confusion, or realization that you're all gonna die anyway. You drop your weapon, 
and uh, or other important item. The, the GM decides which one. And your stress level increases by one. So increase your stress level by another one. After you fire. Uh, so you fire on this thing. Okay, I fired. Okay. And it it's all of a sudden it lets out like a screech. And you guys hear this also from behind. And this thing stands up. And it's huge. It's like seven feet tall. It's um... Shit, I didn't know it was that big. <laughs> fuck. Like Listen, what the fuck are you doing? <laughs> that, was a, that was a little thing in the helmet. There's like this translucent <laughs> gelatinous cowl that has grown over most of this thing's head, revealing a sunken in hideous caricature of its former visage behind. Uh, and it's it's uh, like human-like long limbs hanging down, and it lets out a screech. <laughs> and it all of a sudden scurries up. Uh, one of the open hatches, because I did say there was an open oh. reactor hatch where light was shining through, and it screeches and scurries away through this hatch. Wilson, what the fuck are you doing? Do you want that thing on you? What? <laughs> what in the hell kind of thing was that? Now you tell me right uh, now. Can't you what? just warn everyone? Say, hey guys, there's uh, something creepy over there. Uh, Let's deal with it together. Listen, let's get the power on. What you know do what? you know? What do <laughs> you review, know about this sort of Review company policy. Review it, please. Let me know what section A-D says. It says follow captain's orders, not your no. own. Well, let's Is start it? some ordering then, captain. Not standing here. Okay, look. First of all, we are going to... There's a new protocol being established. If something dead is sitting on the floor, we are going to use the flamethrower. Yeah, I like that plan. Because now, I also want to know, are you, did you know that this thing was on this ship, Company Man? Is this part of your plan? <laughs> <laughs> no. And now he's opening up all the doors with his special key. I'm going to walk it. into this. This is all getting very convenient, Wilson. I'm going to say, Wilson, you were the also the only one that saw this. They heard the screech. They turned around, and they just kind of saw the back of it scuttle away. So they're not getting yeah. stressed. Right, it's just yeah. you were like, oh, my God. Like, what the hell was this? So they don't know what you fired at. They just saw the back end of something. We just know it was the, the, the suit, head. basically, yeah. Is this, is this motion tracker on? Is this thing working? Oh, yeah. So yeah it's did you that? say anything? Bloop, bloop, bloop. And it's getting further and further away. Well, that that's a good sign. The dot's moving away from so, us. There's no atmosphere. There's no air in here. Keep that uh, in mind. It's nothing human. Oh, oh, that's where you're going with that. Okay. Keep an eye on that GPS thing, and you tell us uh, where any monsters okay. or, or whatever let's, the hell that was around here. All right, let's uh, let's focus. Okay. Tam, start trying to burn the outside. We need to get in there as fast as we can. Rye, focus on the thing. If we hear any beeps, just let us know. Wilson, pick your fucking shotgun up <laughs> and keep it to your chest, and do not fire unless we are in serious danger. Yeah, that's exactly what I did. Understood. It's a good <laughs> point there, yeah. No one saw anything. We just saw some spacesuit walking up. Just, all right. Eyes on the prize. Power, power, power. All right. I'm going to um, stand back as, like, to where yeah, I'm so just you unload uh, roasting your... marshmallow distance, yeah, basically. You start <laughs> blasting this shit off the reactor core, and it starts breaking, crumbling off, and mm -hmm. uh, turning to uh, to ash. Uh, I'll get you to make me one of your famous uh, heavy machinery rolls once you do that to get everything back up and running. Okay. Do you want me to use the torch or the incinerator? Be faster with the incinerator, or is the torch gonna gonna just cut it into sections and <laughs> knock it off with a t with a tool, or what do you think would be? Are you asking me, or yes, Nadia? I'm just thinking, would the would the hit with the torch and a tool work just just as well without maybe risking me? you know, blowing the thing up as much? I don't know. Um, Whatever. Well, you want me to make a heavy machinery check? <laughs> Is that what you wanted? Yeah, me? heavy machinery, please. All right, cool. Sorry. I, I'm holding shit up. By oh, my. Being paranoid. About, oh, Lord, that was bad. You want to use, blew a, story? It up. You wanna use a story point? Yeah, I'm going to use a story point and succeed on this. I think that's wise. Or do you want to push? Oh yeah, I forgot we can push, but you get stress, uh, right? That's the repercussion? You get stress for pushing. One. And it rolls all the dice? Or just not the one? Like which just not rolling? the ones and sixes. It takes those aside and you get to roll the remainder. Uh, I'll push. You wanna I push? Know, oh the, the chat is saying push. I like how it's I know Adam. I'm a little distracted. Adam's what do I, always what the I, first to push. Push. How, push. How, how does this work? Just roll it again. 
you don't have any more. It's like it's like um, hey, oh, thanks for the the subscription. Okay. It's just like Forbidden Lands. You just re-roll. You take out any ones or sixes, but you didn't have either. I could push twice too because of my um, true grit ability. <laughs> you're gonna gain a stress though for pushing. So yeah, he, that's, he, that's fine. Okay, do it. Then we'll roll your panic yeah. afterwards. Nice. Oh heck nice. yeah! Dude, you fucking with, nailed with, it. With the style, you got you got bonuses. What do you want to use those for? Okay, this is heavy machinery. Um, I'm gonna do it in half the time, and I want to break break it off. Well, so would break it permanently be worth it? Doing like breaking oh, it off we'll permanently. Adam Adam gave some bits for for you listening for you pushing for taking that risk. Oh, nice, awesome. Uh, okay, so I'll just take plus one to a, a later that heavy machinery good, yeah. roll, oh, and then I, and I and I'll half the time it takes. Sure, uh, so you get, nice. Yeah, you get this thing up and running. Um, go ahead and roll me d six though for your panic. Okay, sorry. Uh... Oh, you're fine. You're fine. It's a six total, six and under. You're good. Okay. All right. Okay. I'm just looking at that hatch to see, like, I'm just looking around during this time, you know, making sure nothing else is <laughs> coming at us. Yeah, you're paranoid now. So the power, <laughs> the reactor comes on. <sighs> the ship starts to hum to life. The lights flicker and come on. All of a sudden you hear, like, a like a loud crack, crack, crack. And all, and then you, <laughs> you hear the, the um, air scrubbers come on. After a, a number of loud cracking sounds. Don't take off your suits yet. Give it some time. We still have oxygen. <laughs> the lights come on. Yeah, the, the the ship starts to fill with atmosphere. And, Anything uh, on the motion? And it starts to warm up. Motion sensor No, update. there's nothing on the motion sensor right now. <laughs> We're going to ask that a lot. <laughs> yes. yes. It's just, I just imagine it's our characters like looking over at her little GPS <laughs> yeah. thing. Like, I know, right. just constantly right. looking at Rye. Yeah. Um, so, yeah, when the light comes on, uh, Miller will kind of rub her jacket and look at her badge and just kind of contemplate about working for someone else but also having to take care of your crew and kind of have like a little moral dilemma of oh look you at know. you bringing your stress down by one did i do it did yeah it, you like it okay i just i'm gonna say it can i i want to bring my stress down by one by praying to god for the safety of is my that, um yeah. <laughs> what friends. is that like your your signature item Ro a rosary yeah oh, oh yeah 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 you say a little prayer after that and the power comes back on yeah of course you Reduce nice. stress by a point. Everybody's going to get the map back out and get everyone around. Okay. Yep. This is not what we signed up for. Clearly, we have no, I don't know what these things are, but we need to establish some rules before we head forward. We are going to burn anything that we deem creepy. <laughs> okay, which is going to be a lot of things. I understand that science is on the menu, but... We need to start making a list now, then. Basically, whatever what everybody's creeped out by, you know. Whatever what you, you get creeped Clowns, out with the flamethrower. Whatever. I'll burn a clown. You like you, you know. We see a clown, need burning. I'll and let's it. let's head thing. back upstairs to mother. We need to talk to her and see if she can figure out a better plan than just us searching every room. Now I have a question, and I I heard you, uh, Miller, and I don't disagree with anything. Uh, on our way to mother. Uh, we're going to pass the science lab. Do we want to stick our head in? <laughs> we and could. We, and, we, and we pass the med lab. We might want to stop there to see if there's anything. Uh, Listen, I tell you, if, if them eggs came from that science lab, the only thing I'm going to stick in there is the nozzle from this incinerator. All right. Well, if it's something that's going to kill us, then you're welcome to light the whole room up. Sounds but, good to me. I mean, we can peek in. Now, right. does our mother, like, are you able, is she able to, like, look into other rooms and we get information You from can't that? communicate with your mother over here. No, I'm saying about my mother in general, like, on our ship. Is that yeah, like, no, the same thing that she can't? No, well, you can't. I'm saying, is that a thing she can do in our ship that we can do for she this can... mother on their ship? That's like, what I'm trying to say. In what regard? My point, I'm trying to figure out Security what cameras. this mother can do. Yes. Like, yeah. can, are there cameras or no? When mother gets oh, yeah, on, can I be like, hey, yeah, mother, what's in the science lab? 
Okay, yeah, yeah, that's what I'm trying to find out. Okay. Well, that's a safer way then. We can right. just go to Mother that's and just do it that way. That's what I'm trying to figure out what information I know about Mother. Okay. Well, I mean, we're here right now. There could be, there's <laughs> that's... there's kids okay. or something. Because, right. I mean, there is blood in that hallway. I, I, the I don't have any kids on me. I think Mother... I think she's just trying to be a little safe, uh, right? you know? I understand. Okay, how about this? Let's compromise. Med Lab Mother. Med Lab yeah. Mother, that sounds we, good. Two we, we might, right, we're we playing might some sort of word association here, game but... or something? No, uh, we're going to stop there, look for first aid supplies in case, I don't know, in case we get hurt. I don't ah, know. okay. And then we'll go to Mother, we'll, we'll look at the cameras, we'll try to figure out what locations have what, and go from there. Good, because I didn't think this was an appropriate time for no word games. No, it's not. We just... Th- Wilson just shot at something. We didn't even see it. Yeah, he saw it on the weird. motion detector. We sure heard it. Well, it's alive, which is weird. You hear that damn noise? That was an unholy noise, demonic even. Like, I ain't never heard nothing like that, y'all. Now, what did uh, you see, Wilson? It's, it's, it seems weird. You never described it to us. Yeah, <laughs> I mean, we don't... just some large. Well, it was some seven foot beast. I can't believe you guys didn't see it. I was I was busy burning burning the stuff. I was busy getting the power on single handedly. Is what I was doing. Wasn't Wilson. Well, yeah, we have the motion detector, so I guess until something pops up, we should just keep. Was it cat black like we had? I thought. No, it oh. was more bipedal. Yeah. All right. You're being told that you're playing this way too safe for a sci-fi horror. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, Let's go I here common... and see what's... So, so the 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 ship. <laughs> I don't think common sense is that crazy. <laughs> Damn, they're using cameras instead of just sending uh, in a person. Tons of bitches. They know how to use mother? No they're way. They're supposed to send in the roughneck and have him right. close his eyes and spin around in circles okay. until something attacks him. That's how they examine every room. Not the... <laughs> Plain okay. and safe. So, Sorry. to the med lab. Yes. To the med lab. I thought it was a sci lab. Okay, we're going to the med lab. No, med lab uh, I'd rather go to the sci lab, but Miller wants to go to the med lab, so we're going to the med lab. <laughs> well, we could do med sci mother. That sounds better than all yeah, the M's, right? Yeah, we all, I, we're right nearby, you know. She's right. I'm not sure what you think we're going to find there except more eggs or the mother of what made the eggs. The number one priority is to gather. So if we can take care of that now on the way to mother, number one is already done. That was my only point. He ain't got a bad a uh, bad point there, uh, you know. If I'm it's sure crazy, we, light it up. I'm sure there's just some slides or something we need to pick up. We'll, it'd be fine. I mean, samples is a very generic term. We could bring like one sample and say, "Oh, there was only one," you know. Wilson will no. <laughs> No, Wilson, no. Wilson, <laughs> Wilson, you will not stand by this as a company man. You know that is not the rule. We got to take a look and see what it is. If it if it's now great, if we're coming back to it, but one way or another, we're gonna get those samples. All right. Uh, okay, two slides. What was that gear list? Uh... Let's do med bay mother, and then we'll come back for the samples. It's fine. <laughs> All right. So you guys All right. Make... Lead us, leader. Yeah, you guys make your way down the hallway. The lights are on now. There's atmosphere. Are you guys oh, taking your good. suits off? I'm no. I'm waiting a little longer until. <laughs> I feel I more a, comfortable. How much air is left in our suits? You've got like maybe another hour's worth of air left in your suit. Is, yeah, is I'll there, wait like 20 minutes and then I'll do it. Is there yeah. anything lying around that would make a half decent melee weapon? Like a like a pipe I can just like rip off the wall or something, you know? Like, like in the reactor area? Just in anywhere where just as we're walking through. Because I just, I just want to like some, some sort of melee weapon. I just wanna... Um, Might be something in the med too. Yeah, there might be something in the med bay. There's nothing in the yeah, reactor, uh, unfortunately. Yeah, maybe like a bone saw, handheld bone saw or something. That'd be cool. Be a cool melee weapon. <laughs> yeah, so you guys make your way down the hallway and towards the med lab. You open the door, and with this, and within this room, there's um, two older generation Pauling med pods, two large med pods in there. One of them has its plexiglass tube splintered and shattered as if something broke out of it. The other is sealed and lit from within. But the entire inner surface of the plexiglass is covered in a thick, dried blood. Okay, question about that. Yeah. That and that looks like it was sealed too. It doesn't look like it could come ajar and then someone bust out. Like it thought like this. Like, uh, you know, you said one of the tubes was had, had been burst open from the inside, right? Yeah. 
Okay, I'm a I'm asking like a. Did it look like it came a jar, or and then they burst out, or does it look like they burst out um, while it was still sealed? I'm asking because like that's pretty crazy because when it's sealed, aren't you supposed to be like asleep? <laughs> Yes, so that is bizarre. It looks like something yeah. burst out or broke out of this thing, and it's still sealed. From okay, that's tell. A, yeah. Sorry, that was a lot roundabout way of asking that question. But and the other one is like blood inside. It's sealed, and there's blood on the inside of the glass. Okay, yeah, that's definitely extra weird. Okay. And is there any supplies that we see? Yeah, like... there's actually there's a row of large specimen jars floating. Within two of them are are two small weird alien creatures i'll actually show you a picture of what you see in there see uh oh that's not no picture for that let's see <laughs> handouts unfortunately i don't think there is so you see these like little bulbous creatures with elongated heads floating curled up inside these jars now that might be samples. Yes, that does look like samples. In the satchel. <laughs> On the far shelf is a smaller specimen jar with uh, without liquid, and it contains um, these fungal nodes, similar to the uh, to those those egg sacs that you guys saw earlier. There's smaller versions of those egg sacs growing within it. So it's like a, it's it's sealed though, or no? Yeah, it's sealed. But it has like the egg sacs inside. Okay. Yeah, and on the desk next to it is a is an open metallic urn. Open metallic urn. You'd like to burn something? Yeah, you'd put something in metallic urn. Seal. You would seal something inside of it or hold something inside of it. Ah. Uh, a vessel. It's, it's currently closed. It's sealed. Oh, there's something inside. Okay. Just take okay. all of it. Yeah, take it all. Load it in well, the back. We have this whole ship to check. If we're looking for survivors, if we're looking for samples, so we can't just carry around all of these <laughs> aliens. Wilson will pick it up and carry it. You're gonna grab uh, the the samples of the the alien creatures. Yeah, you said they were oh. small, right? Yeah, they're small. Yeah, looks like uh, yeah they're they're dead. They're floating in fluid. They've been. Uh, oh, they're dead. Okay, cool. All right, uh, yeah. No, he'll take them. There's also the, the jars of the, the um, sealed jars with the egg sac nodes within them. Yeah, we'll take one of those. Take okay. one of each. <laughs> yeah. You've got the med the med uh, the med pods are also there. Uh, you guys are poking around, you find four personal med kits. Ooh la la. Four. You so find we each one, grab each. one. Yeah. each one each. You get you find surgical <laughs> instruments. What is that? That's a, that's a medical aid, right? For the yeah. So is there you can a, find uh, like a bone like saw a, that I could use as a weapon? Yeah, you could find a bone saw. How much damage does that do? Like one? Uh, I'd have to look. I don't know off the top of my head. Sorry. Sorry. Okay, I might even try to program weapons in. in and the thing, so uh, you me. get uh, D6 doses each of never sleep pills, hydration, and mm. napper leave. So all, all drugs that you guys can take. So hydration, never sleep, and what's the last one do? Uh, I'm gonna have to look it up because I don't know off the top of my head what the the Napro leave does. Napro leave? Yeah, N A P R O L E V E. Okay. Oh, would you say D six of each? Are yeah, D six dose. Are we doses. rolling that? Or? So the way it works in this is you roll it, and if you don't, uh, if you roll a five or six, it goes down by one. Gotcha. To like a the next oh, die so type. Don't... Oh, okay. So every it's time like you the, take it, you yeah. roll. It's like Forbidden Lands. It's like the yeah. Okay. Uh, stock make, of it. Make sure on your sheet that the the right letters, either CC or RC, are highlighted because on my incinerator it had CC highlighted, but it actually should yes. be RC. So make make sure. That was oh, right. gotcha. Um, I will grab the surgical kit in case we need it, just to have it on us. Sure. Uh, you oh. guys are poking around. You also see that um, that you find that there's some vials in cold storage, and they have some black fluid in them. And they're in cold storage. They're in cold storage. Um. And underneath the desk, you also find a med kit case. 
Will that just have more med kits? Well, and when you open it up, you find that it's filled with six syringes with a weird black substance in it as well. Okay, so let's clarify. Samples means like one of each thing, right? So we can grab one syringe. I agree. Okay, one syringe it is. Let's not, we can't overburden ourselves. <laughs> Unless that's the antidote to oh, something and we want to take four, but hey, we'll take one. Wilson, people want you to open the urn. They want you to do all the good stuff. Go open, go open that, um, that med pod. <laughs> the med pod with blood in it? Yeah, go pop it sure open. Sure thing. <clears throat> well, so there is a bad influence. <laughs> it's ambitious to move up the ladder, not to move into the grave. <laughs> <laughs> Angel wings on Wilson. Yeah. All right. We have medical supplies. All right. We have Some a bunch samples. of samples. Off to mother. Off to mother, right? Oh, you're not going to Scilab. I mean, it's right if, there. <laughs> I'm good with going to the Scilab. We just need two slides, right? We don't need to. Yeah. Right, we have no idea. The samples is just a vague term of anything we find. Why don't we just peek our head in there? We'll see I'll if anything it. jumps out to us and yeah. looks like, you know, sample. Me, you know? me and Kim will peek our heads in there, right? Scilab. <laughs> sure. All right. Scilab 2, <laughs> which is next door. Yeah, we'll go to Scilab yeah. 2. Poke your head in Scilab 2. So uh, this room is a charred shell of a room. Uh, whatever happened here, the crew ended it real quick with a liberal use of an incinerator or two. There's a burnt out partial remains of a drum of some kind in the room and a body buried in the debris, its arms shriveled up and clutching at its chest. The stale wow. air is thick and the smell of burnt rubber, plastic and flesh. Next. Do you yeah, want to poke around more. in there? I mean, well, it's all burnt, right? Right, it's dead so bodies. So I don't see anything of value I, in, the, in things that are burnt. Yeah, so while you're standing there and they're poking around, right, all of a sudden your your thing starts bloop, bloop. Uh, I'll poke bloop. around a bit. Hey, yeah. it's, what it's direction? blooping at me. What direction? Where, where, Ray? Why? Here, let me see. What direction is it coming from? It's coming back from the med lab. I'm trying to get a good look in this in this uh, Sure, you actually you don't need to roll. That's fine. You don't you don't need uh -huh. to roll for that. So you you kick around and there's nothing worthwhile here. Um all you find is the the remains of uh, what appears to be a, a barely human body. You see, this thing has this weird cowl where it, where it, on the skull where its face used to be, and its features are are obscured by the charring. And again, it's got like elongated, inhumanly elongated forearms. This is weird. Okay. Uh, yeah, um, Rye, you're picking up bleep, blipping and bleeping over in the med lab area while you guys are walking around here. Wilson, I think your frame's bad. Well, okay. Let's get ready. Where's that flamethrower? Uh, I got it right here, buddy. Let's get inside the science lab for right now and see until it goes away. <laughs> okay. Like, or, uh... Well, if we have that give, that means there's only one way in, one way out. Yeah, Besides great place here, to maybe. go. <laughs> Shit. <laughs> <laughs> All right, you want to go back to, you go to Science form. Lab 1? No, I just want to stay in Science Lab 2 and see if the beep comes towards us or if it goes away. No, it just kind of hangs in Med Lab 1, and then it seems to to leave. It goes north again. You see it disappear okay. north. Bloop, 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 and it gets further and further away from you. All right, well, that could be your friend, Wilson, but <laughs> let's head to Mother, I suppose. The Science Lab was extremely useful. I'm glad we went there, everybody. Science Lab 2? Yes. Science Lab 1 and Science Module. Which I don't so know you want to are we doing the whole one? thing? No, I didn't say that. I'm just saying there is there. You know, if we had found something in this room, you'd be quite jealous that we had come up with this idea. But whatever, just berate us. Mother has cameras. We, I'd use it on the ship, you know? I can, it's the same thing. It yeah. camera might have been burnt out from the Yeah, campfire. it sure was in this room. I mean, how many samples do we need? At this point, we're just looking for survivors. We can say, Mother, is there anyone alive on the ship? No. Oh, case closed. We can head back. Remember, you got to yeah, tow this thing enough. also to the nearest uh, oh, Willie and Tony outpost. Would we know how to? We would know how to tow it, right? Yeah, you'd have the capabilities on your with your ship. I could set that up. I've heavy machinery. There we go. And everything. So, Scilab right, One, yes, no. What's the chat say? 
I mean, Same. we're here already. It's just one room <laughs> right. over. We're right here. Yes, yeah, uh, so it's just Oak. a dead body burnt in the middle of the floor. It's Oak really wants It's to fine. We won't come back after this. They want All you right, guys to shoot up it. that black tar in the syringes also really bad. Oh, All right. Nice. What? <laughs> we'll go to Science Lab 1, sure. All right, Science Lab 1. Not a good time to ask the chat. All right, so you open the door. And the lights in this room are flickering. This are you got oh, you've taken your suits off at this point. Yeah, 20 minutes. So you guys have disrobed and you've left your suits lying in the hallway. Your nostrils are assaulted as soon as the door opens. The stench of decay and it's overwhelming. You start to gag and retch. <coughs> There's a pile of, of gnawed bones in this room. The main lab has uh, an enclosed decontamination area on the main uh, examination table. And under the decon hood is a perfectly preserved metallic urn. There's a malfunctioning so, deep cold freezer with smashed glass door that has four more urns within it. And an ooze has seeped out all over them, forming a congealed pools on the floor. Strange black fungal nodes are growing on the urns and within the pools of this black substance. And there's one free urn that's not in this pool? Yeah, it's it's over on the uh it's over on the operating table. Or examination table, I should say. And we don't Underneath have a decontamination hood. Right, we don't have an urn yet, right? I thought Wilson picked up that. Wilson, did you grab I, I an urn? I picked up, yeah, I picked up the okay. metal one. All right. I mean, one black. more couldn't hurt, right? <laughs> Rai, you are more than welcome to go grab the urn. I mean, we're just oh, no, smelling I'm death. Busy. I've got a scanner. I gotta track this motion. Yeah. Is anyone sensing a, a theme when every time we open a door, there's dead things? Why are we opening up more doors? You know what? Yeah, kind of with you on that one. As you're sitting there kind of complaining and gagging, you notice um, half submerged in a pool of the black goo on the floor. It looks like there's a like a, a plastic or a card poking out. Plastic uh, key card of some sorts. You know, I would say that's very useful, but Wilson has like the skeleton key, and <laughs> <laughs> I don't know if anyone should go grab it. Yeah, Wilson played that card it. early, literally. Yes. Well, I don't know if this would get us everywhere. If we got one sitting there looking at us. Y'all quit being so damn scared all the time. I'll just go and grab it. There we go. Yeah, you grab this, or you it sticks to the goo, and you pull it out, and it's kind of like dripping off. Wipe it off on my pants around okay. the shin area and yeah yeah you wipe it down the bottom of your pants and it clings to your clothing and uh it's an emergency access card it looks like it would get you into mother and other areas of, in the ship I'm, I'm gonna hold on to this since i seem to be leading the way a bunch so <laughs> all right you got the flamethrower you gotta be in front yeah otherwise i'd be catching people's asses on fire and i don't want that you know that might get me a pay cut <laughs> Plus, it might hurt y'all. <laughs> I'm just messing. I'm glad you're focused on the money first and not our safety. No, I'm just messing. I'm, I like y'all, except for Wilson. <laughs> <laughs> no, he's. I thought he was going to be a little bit, you know, more annoying, but it seems to be going okay so far. <sighs> he's like, I'm standing right here, guys. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So you guys want right, to? We're heading to mother. No, we're done. <laughs> yeah, we're back, back upstairs, bro. We've opened up three doors and they've all had death. Yeah, they're all. Door. Yeah, the doors suck in this. <laughs> and we have like four or five samples. Yeah, so you guys start making your way back through this floor and uh, back up the the ladder to deck A. As you're doing so, all of a sudden, Mother blares across the intercom. <laughs> Warning, cryo chambers Damn. deactivated. Warning, cryo chambers deactivated. Uh, let's... And that cryo chambers generally means, like, people, right? That's where the people will be sleeping. Those are south of Mother. Activated. And deactivated, that, that's not the same as, like, when you release... Is that the same as, like, when we get released? That is the same as they are being opened and released currently. All right, let's head that way. Yeah. Guns out. Every door we've opened has been shit, and let's not anticipate this one being any better. You got that right. <laughs> yeah. Waving my scanner around. Hopefully, Anything I don't. Going oh, on? 
Don't open the door. Yeah, wave the scanner. See if we see notice anything. Hopefully, I don't run into a tall guy with a big old helmet on because he's gonna get torched. <laughs> Hopefully, he's not human. Hopefully. Yeah. Like paperwork so, killing nobody, you know. You guys make your way over to the cryo chambers and you poke your head and like. Well, does the scanner get anything when we? Yeah, the scanner's picking up signs of life. There are actually two, three, four, five signs of life within these uh these tubes here. Uh, oh they're God. opening up, and uh, yeah, it's, it seems like there there are people, or what you assume are people, leaving them. Guns pointed. And where are we in the hall? Yeah, you guys are in the, the hallway, the standing hall? outside, okay. and uh, you're standing at the doors. You can hear like. <laughs> opening up and you hear people like coughing and kind of murmuring and this is the mont crew of the montero are you are you human everybody all right in there um yeah you hear you hear a muffled response who the hell is that what what we, who are you crew of the montero brother we done said it are you we didn't we were sent here. Well, no, we weren't. But anyway, we're we helping you out ship. anyway. There was an SOS. This is Captain Miller. Is your captain alive? Oh my god, there's dead in here. Can we open the doors? Uh, it's locked from the inside. But you do have that emergency key, do you not? We do. Hey, hey, just let you know, we're about to come in. Don't pull no triggers on us. We won't pull none on you, okay? We're here to help. We, we're just here to respond to the SOS, all right? About to open the door. Dear He's God, opening the door. There's dead. There's, oh my! No, did you? Did oh, did you take the serum? What? No. What serum? Oh my! Doctor Cooper needs help. Where's Doctor Cooper? He's in here. Oh. Open the door. <laughs> you open the door. Yeah. And you see five, and they're standing around. They're standing. They're oh, we do have one chambers. serum. Yeah. And um, and you see this this one gentleman. He's an older gentleman. He's got glasses on. He's holding his head. And he's complaining of a headache. He's got a migraine. Oh, my head Shotgun is so ready. bad. Oh, I need help. <coughs> oh, Take you back to the so med bay. Bad. What is what is the serum you're talking about? What does it do? Well, before we went into stasis, one of them steps forward and says, "I'm the commanding officer, Johns." Uh, before we went into stasis, we had to take a serum to ensure that we 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 uh. We are clear of the infection of what we picked up. Is everyone clear? Can you confirm it? Did the doctor take it? Uh, Cooper, he's, he's sitting there coughing. <laughs> oh, no, no, I didn't take the damn stuff. Oh, my head. I'm going to back up. And what happens if you don't take it? You turn into one of these creatures? He starts coughing up blood. Johns, get out of here right now. And he's, he's like, fallen to the ground now. And no, I don't like, want the doctor. I want the other guy. And he's shaking. He's convulsing on the floor. And there's, like, blood coming out of his, like, eyes and pores. And they're like, dear God, what's going on? Help him! Help him! They all have amnesia. Like, you, this is standard for when you wake up. Like, oh, like headaches and amnesia. And they don't know what's going on. So the, you guys need to come out weird, of there. Right? The blood thing is weird. Okay. So you guys need to get out. Officer Johns, get out Leave of there. Get behind us, man. Get behind us. Come on. I'm going to start ushering them back. Sure, so gonna, as you, uh, you guys kind of stand in the hallway, and all of a sudden blood seeps out of his eyes and nose. Bloody uh, his bloody eyes roll over white as he starts I to look convulse. look over to Cam. Light him up. Light him up. And <laughs> against the wall. Uh, you guys are standing in the hallway. The rest I'm of the hesitant. crew, the crew of the Kro Kronos, uh, they've backed away. Nobody's okay. near this guy. I'm busy. Okay. Oh, okay. So, and he's convulsing on the spot, and he's pleading for help. And he's now and he's now entering like a deep, deep seizure, and he's flailing about. Uh, with a sickening pop, a bloody splash. His eyeball launches out from his face and smashes against Cham, and then it hits the oh, floor. Oh no, hell no! What rolling the? underneath a cryo tube. This time That's you pause, trying to process exactly what you are seeing. A slender, gore-covered arm punches its way out of Cooper's empty eye socket <laughs> reaches around Ooh. and tugs at his descended mouth as spindly white fingers yank his teeth back Cooper does not scream it's clear he isn't in his own head anymore 
something else is, and it wants out. Flesh tears and tendons snap as this thing inside his splintering skull pulls his face open right at the jawline. Finally, a thick gurgling sound wells up inside Cooper as his head is ripped from his body, his neck gushing as whatever was inside of him plops to the floor in a burst of blood. Kill it! Kill it now! Someone screams. Yeah, oh, we are lighting the fuck gun, out. Boom. The translucent white thing on the floor slogs <laughs> off its placenta, struggling to stand on all four <sighs> wobbly, fawn-like legs, shaking brain matter from its spiky hide, and the bloodburster turns its bulbous, eyeless head towards you and crouches. <laughs> yeah, that's my incar- that's my incinerator roll to just light them up. I mean, we all had our guns trained. You did oh, yeah. have your guns drawn. You're standing in the door. Oh yeah. Cham was standing in the doorway saying, "Get behind me with his gun drawn." I I do agree. So all of a sudden, pff, you light up the incinerator. You hit it. You I'm, got some stunts. Nice. There. Hell I'm gonna, yeah. I'm gonna make it make a panic Sweet. roll, and I'm also gonna add one to the damage. <laughs> I got my own character sheet here. Game mother panic roll, huh? Mm-hmm. It's it's good. It's That's not gonna panic. It lets out the scream, this little white alien creature as this burst up his head. The others from the Cronus are screaming and there's blood everywhere. Get the hell out of here, y'all! Damn! Can they can they I mean, is there any way for them to get out? Without walking right over. No, you guys are blocking the door. <laughs> I was to say it looks. So they're all bunched up tight. in one corner. This thing's sitting there looking at the group of you. You just psh, lit up with an incinerator. As you've done so, it lets out a screech and it scurries psh, as fast as it can off, boom, into a shaft nearby, and disappears. You can see on your ah. on your scanner. Bloop, 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 bloop. This thing's moving and it's moving really fast away from you. What the fuck? Holy was hell, that? that was insane. That's the most crazy, damn demonic looking thing I've ever seen. And Get that, out of the room. Oh, it ripped out of that dude's head. Like, just came climbing right out of it. Like, out of the bowels of hell. Like, holy. Oh, who's, the, who's the highest ranking from the Cronus? Uh, it would be the, uh, Johns. the captain. Johns. But that actually is the end of act one so we're playing through act one tonight that brings us to the end of the first act of aliens chariot of the gods nice i like that that was fun yeah so remember going to act two you guys are gonna have different agendas (laughs) things are gonna get even more interesting (laughs) i felt like i played off of like a loyal guy you know who wanted to help his friends out oh for sure no that was good that was uh, all right, yeah, I like Good. this character. I was gonna go dude bro, but you know, I chose redneck last minute. Dude bro. All these freaking vents are not in our favor. Uh, no, no right? They are no. not. No. In your hey, favor. as far as I'm concerned, that panic roll worked. Yeah. <laughs> that was that was my doing. Yeah. You have a small xenomorph now loose in the ship, and something else that you woke down in the depths, loose in the ship. Yeah. And whoever knows what else you've awoken now that the power is back on. Yeah, probably so, everything. We will pick it up again next week, Tuesday, with Act 2. And probably Act 3 of Charity of Gods, because Act 3 is very short. And we'll make our way mm. through that and uh, finish this up. Nice. Exciting. Yeah. Sounds good. Cool. Thanks yeah. for having me. Yeah, Where'd thank you. Everybody wrong, yeah, that was good. <laughs> oh, my sound is buggered up here. It was good to play with you, Jennifer. I, this is the first time, I think. Yeah. yeah, that was very cool. Thanks for having me. There we go. All right. Yeah, it's a sh- they're short acts. This is just a little, little one shot. But yeah, thank you everybody for joining us. Uh, I'll be back on Friday with some Zweihander? Question mark? I think we're doing Zweihander. Zweihander? Uh, Zweihander. Friday, yeah. Oh, and... yeah, that's uh, the Racketeer character, right? Or yeah, is that's it... right. Is it my Racketeer or is it my... Yeah. No, the Racketeers on Sunday. I think that's like my old apothecary guy, right? Well, whatever. I don't even know anymore. <laughs> I'll figure it out. We'll do some Zweihander. <laughs> yeah, we'll be back next Tuesday with this and something on Sunday. I don't know if we're doing Zweihander or Dark Master. I don't know on Sunday. But um, yeah, thanks for everybody joining us. 
We had a good time. Thank you to the players. Thank you for to Fawn for cool. resubscribing and Oak for resubscribing and for Fruitzilla Fruit. for giving some yeah. subs out. Nice. And uh, yeah, and the bits and everybody who joined us and join and uh, interact in the chat. We love awesome. it. Have Heck a yeah. good night, everybody. We'll see you good. on Friday. Good night. Good night, right. guys. Take care.